Winding the hands up. Okay. There goes the hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Walter's doing it. We are live. Welcome back to the show. I think this is episode uh, 105 of the Who Move My Freedom podcast, live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios, as you see right there. My camera has somehow been moved around here in the studio, so I'm not I'm not 100% used to that. Uh quite yet so you know it's gonna be me and walter tonight we were just saying mano a mano, mano, a mano. you know ebony and ivory <laughs> you know they're in perfect harmony yeah Who did, which, one, which one of the boxers had like a big fight where it was like uh a black versus white thing I, i'm trying to uh, think of uh it's not really a rumble in the jungle no, it's not no. A rumble. we can't say it's a rumble in the jungle but you know uh, probably not since uh, I, who who's the guy that Rocky uh, Rocky actually went up against? Uh, damn it! What was Mr. T's name in in that movie? Oh, um, I tried on tip my tongue. Oh man, I can't believe. It. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to look this up now. Oh, I hate that. Uh, damn it! What was T Mr. T's name in the first Rocky movie? Somebody, somebody out there. Yeah. Anyway, so it's kind of like a you know I would obviously be the the Mr. T. I think I'm the, uh, the Walter white would guy. be the Rocky, but even though Walter's technically bigger than me, I'd probably still knock him out with my awesomeness. <laughs> you know, I think I would win that fight. I, I, I take I take the knockout for a good payday. You know. What yeah, I'm saying? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you take a you take a dive, huh? Yeah. What the heck? You know. Oh, it's a good. Okay. Oh, oh, Lang. Kill, was it Killer? Oh, Clubber, Killer Lang. Clubber, Clubber Lang. Clubber, Clubber Lang. Lang. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot that. Oh man. I Damn like the, the new Snickers ads. Awesome though, where he rises up in the tank and. Oh, I haven't, seen, jibba jibba. I haven't seen that. I still I should look that up on YouTube. Up, I haven't man. seen it yet. We shit. should do like a you know Walter versus Hank thumbnail for this video, <laughs> and we should some maybe someone out there can do it. Babyface is not going to be here. He's supposed to be with us tonight, but maybe someone can Photoshop that like my head on Mr. T's body. <laughs> And then I, Walter's head on Rock. That's gonna look weird, Walter on uh, Rocky's body. But oh uh, yeah, no. Put me on. Um, what's the other white dude that fought Rocky? The uh, like the. Uh, oh, uh, you're talking about the guy who he was like uh, in the movie. He was Russian. Yeah, they play a Russian guy, but he's actually a Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, he's yeah, a nice give me guy. that guy. That dude. He's pretty. Yeah. Pretty square chin, yeah. you know. Yeah. I, I like Dolph Lundgren. He's a cool dude. Yeah. I think he's actually a really smart guy, too, I heard. You know, I was like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I met him, and he's, you know, like, uh, he's one of those people that I've actually met in real life. I used to work at this hospital in New York oh, City, yeah. and he came in there to do a lot of his sports medicine training. And just like a lot of these dudes, they're not as big as you think they are. <laughs> I, I was bigger than them. <laughs> wow. Uh, Height-wise. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Obviously not, you know, in the muscle category, but. I remember one time I uh, I read into Mario Van Peebles. Oh yeah. And he was in I think he was in the second um, Highlander movie. You ever saw Highlander movies? Might have. Yeah. So you know that's like only only one like every they, these guys they were immortal but they had to kill all the other guys to to be immortal or some kind of to stay okay. immortal okay. or to rule right, them right. all or whatever. Right. So that's what the first one was about. And all of them, they were, where they're all killing each other, and that's how they get more power every okay. time they take the other guy's head. Oh, Mar yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mario Van Peebles was in one of those. And if you look at that movie, you will swear Mario Van Peebles is this big, massive dude. Yeah. And I was doing something, and I was talking on the phone in the lobby of the hospital, and this guy walked right under my arm. And I was like, who the hell is this guy? And it was Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> He's a troll. <laughs> I was like, how the hell, how did this guy, when you see people on a movie screen, they look massive. So there you go. Yeah, Richard Hughes says the first movie was the best, the Highlander movie. Well, usually those kind are the best, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we somehow digressed into quickly conversation of movies. Quickly, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah. he says he was in the movie Solo, and he was in a badass werewolf movie. And I think Mario Van... The reason why I'm thinking about Mario Van Peebles is because there's some kind of TV show that's kind of like a takeoff on... Is it called Superstition? Um, I think that's the name of his show. But there's this other show with these brothers who have all the... Oh, Supernatural. There's like a black takeoff on the Supernatural thing that my brother's been looking at with Mario Van Peebles, and he seems to like the show. You know, we're into that like 
occult sci-fi kind of yeah. werewolf monsters and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> did, did you? See, I, I saw it the other night. It was on. Um, I usually don't watch a lot of broadcast CBS, mm -hmm. but uh, they had the Carol Burnett fiftieth anniversary show on. No, I didn't see it. And okay, how was it? Oh, well, she's funny, and her show was funny, mm -hmm. and she had some other people on. They were showing different different parts from the show and different people and all this stuff. But um, God, I'm just gonna, I just gonna mention something you were talking about, something related to it. Now I can't remember. Oh, werewolves! Yeah. I said something. yeah, the werewolf. Yeah, uh, there was a there was a skit in there that uh, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, not Tim Conway, but um, oh, the other guy, Paul. Is no, Tim Conway still around? Yeah, I guess he is, but he's not in real good health. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he was funny. There, he was funny. There's this this thing where they're talking about werewolves, and um, and and it, that, uh, her and the other guy are saying werewolves. They don't exist. There's no such thing. And the other guy's like, rah, rah, rah. he's turning into a werewolf on the side. It was funny. You had to see. It. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I believe that there are such a things as all these things like werewolves and vampires. Harvey Corman. Harvey Corman. Har Thank Harvey you. Corman. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. I do, I do believe there are werewolves and vampires and Frankensteins and zombies and all that, but it's not what you think. They're regular human beings, but it's how they act. So to me, like a werewolf is the kind of person who pretends to be one thing. They pretend to be real nice. But Dr. Really, Jekyll, Mr. Yeah, Hyde. But they, yeah, they're really evil and destructive. That's kind of like a werewolf. Uh, uh, a vampire is kind of a person who you know does the same kind of thing. They're always... Uh, living off of people and feeding off of people well so, that's called that's called a, a leech yeah you know you've got you've got um frankenstein monsters like people who are you know I mean, lots, lots, of, lots, of, lots of plastic surgery yeah. yeah oh yes that that too we have <laughs> we have all kinds of monsters in real life my friends yeah. Yeah. so just be on the lookout for the real life monsters out there you know mm. that's yeah. the scary thing so you know what usually in this show i think did i say did, did we even say put your big girl panties on? Oh, no, 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 nope, nope, we didn't. Okay, I One, hope you guys. One, two, three, go. Put your big girl panties on. <laughs> it's it's me and Walter. It's going to be a little crazy. I but hope we, so. I hope so. Yeah, and Lola is not even here yet. Um, I got here late, so it's not Walter's fault. He was on time today. I was waiting anxiously. I, go, I was yeah, all set up. And, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I think you're frightened. I don't believe it. Ask Usually you. I got to send you that text like, uh, Walter. I made is... I made I made some dinner, which was some breakfast again. Um, Peggy hasn't been feeling good today, so she was. Oh, really? I don't I don't know why, but um. Oh. But anyway, well, so shout I made outs, shout outs to Peggy because yeah. she's awesome. Yeah, I made breakfast. We all ate. I even had mm. dessert already. Nope. Damn, Walter. You, oh. So you just, <laughs> you just you didn't know what to do with yourself. I, was set I up hope you every... weren't spanking your monkey. Uh, nope, nope. I left Big John over there on the side. He's good to go. Um, uh, and I'm, uh, if anyone is looking at this, I am not talking about like the, you know, the euphemism maybe, or I don't know what, how the hell you say that for spanking your monkey. He actually yeah. has a monkey that people are trying to get him to spank. It's not a real monkey. What is it? Big John, the chimpy chief. Big John, the chimpy chief. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, now I touched it, so you you know you start that conversation again. So absolutely, there you go. He touched his monkey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I and we are. We're going to talk specifically about this uh, ten millimeter high point carbine that just got announced. I don't know if you oh, saw. Oh yeah, that. I saw. I saw the idea. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I'll send you a link here in a second because we'll come back okay. and talk about it. I want to encourage everyone to click the thumbs up. So we've got lots of folks watching oh, yeah, this. Maybe I that. should. Maybe I should actually like mute my cell phone. <laughs> That's uh, a good no, idea. What the heck? Mute the cell phone. Boom, bingo. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've got lots of people watching. Please click the thumbs up. Please share. Uh, throw in some hashtags like hashtag Hank Strange, hashtag WMMF podcast. Ha we came up with some hashtags yesterday that I totally forgot now. I can't remember the hashtags from yesterday. We can do hashtag big girl panties. Oh, you know what? Today is Tactical Tuesday. That's my new. Uh... That's my new thing for Tuesday, Tactical Tuesday. Oh, so we should have named this? Well, you can name it what you want, but I was just yeah. thinking about this think, morning. I think other people have Tactical Tuesday. Yeah, you know. I didn't do yeah. anything tactical today, but it just sounds cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all these days that everyone's coming up with is getting a little annoying. I I think mean, Monday let's call like, it Tarantula Tuesday. <laughs> Terrace. <laughs> yeah. Triceratops no, Tuesday. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Triceratops. <laughs> yeah, Triceratops. Make it yeah, complicated. We'll 
We'll talk about dinosaurs or something. Yeah, like that. that's cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All these weird things that people have going on. So please click the thumbs ups. We need that. If you hate us, click the thumbs downs. It's all good. Yeah. yeah. We'll take it. Whatever. Um, somebody was out there asking how long it takes to get an SHTF fifty. Um, normally it doesn't take very long, but right now I'm 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 waiting on some barrels. So as soon as I get those barrels in, uh, the barrels, get the barrels, barrels in. We'll, yeah. be, we'll be knocking them out again. You so. know, I heard that the Burl's word is like is spreading like fire across the internet. I hope people realize who started the Burl's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I, I heard other people are using that now. Using that terminology? Yeah, yeah we'll get it's, we'll it's get spread, but we we'll get, I, I hope we get credit for it. Yeah, we'll get hijacked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard some other people are using the, the, the Burl's. The hijacked, yeah. bushwhacked, yeah. whatever term you want. Trademark, Hank Strange and Kevin Dixie and Walter Burl's. Keller. Burrows. Yeah. I'll let, so, I'll, let, I'll let Kevin have that one all his own if he wants. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let me, I'm going to do the shout out right now to everyone who's in the chat. looks like Mark Wagner was first. Kentucky Firearms, Joe Carpenter, what's going on? Tango Hunter. Um, yeah. So it looks like there was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, a, a scuffle to see who was first. So, you Street know. Fight. Uh, yeah, MW Tactical. Great <laughs> fight. Kentucky Firearms Network. There you go. Michael Blender. Um, let's see who else is in here. Test testosterone Chris Tuesday. Bullis. Testosterone Tuesday. That's a good there one. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a good one. Testosterone yeah. Tuesdays. Yeah, pretty soon there will be no testosterone in the world. I keep I telling guess. you guys, all the men are fading out of the world. It's cyclic, man. The it's last cyclic. of the men die with our sons. Yeah. So. You hear that scumbag, that John Conyers guy? He's gonna he's gonna drop out, right? But he wants his son to take his seat. Yeah, I'm sure he does. What is he like? Is he like royalty or something? Yeah. What is the? These people. Listen, first of all, be careful. Mind the p's and q's. But yes, uh, <laughs> don't I, start nothing. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> don't start nothing. Um, yeah, you know what? Unfortunately, that's what the hell's going on, man. I, I think that. And it's not their fault. You know what? I don't blame him. I don't blame John Conyers for that what shit. Do you mean? What are you talking about, Willis? I, I blame the people who accept that bullshit. Well, I agree I, with I you, too. I blame the I, people I, in the communities that they're supposed to represent that say, what? You're out of your mind. You screwed us over, and then we're going to choose your son? No, forget no, that no nonsense. No way, man. Well, you know how it goes. So, yeah. So let me see. I'm going to keep going down here. I think I said Chris Bolas. What's going on? Um... I'm trying to go through LB Louis Cipher. What's got what's up? Shut up and play your guitar as well. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Jackson Oldman, Foxtrot Echo. Also, the Tyven Show. The Tyven Show is in here. Screaming Skull Saloon. The Jackie Bear. Matt J. Matt J said Jazz Hands. Oh, wasn't it hashtag Jazz Hands that we did? I think, uh, yeah, so I when think. you guys are sharing this, like, so thumbs yeah. ups, share. When you share, do hashtag jazz hands. Hashtag jazz hands. I, I, I guarantee you we didn't start that hashtag, but whatevs. Well, we're glomming on, glomming on to it. That's yeah, we could dominate it. We could dominate the hashtag. I, I'm pretty sure there's not too many dudes out there. There's also <laughs> doing hashtag jazz hands. <laughs> you know, uh, much less like gun dudes. So... <laughs> Scott Kimball, Jacob uh, Chambly. Oh, Jacob Chambly. Why does that sound? That name, Chambly, is very familiar to me. I think one of the dudes on Trailer Park Boys, his name is Chambly. Oh, yeah? I think so. I think so. I believe, Couldn't I believe that. But I don't think we have any of the Trailer Park Boys watching us because that would be too awesome. <laughs> you know, that would be too awesome. Um, so what's up, Rick Day also? Uh, let's see who else is in here. Uh, yeah, TJ Blage, nasty. Morpheus. Yeah. He says, uh, Morpheus W, he says, hashtag Strange Nation. Okay, that's a good one. Strange Nation. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Tango Hunter said they moved the camera and the rifle. Yeah, we. I usually remove the rifle from there, and then I put up a rifle since I'm late. There is no rifle up there. Yeah. So... Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't That's have. That's how much. it goes. Walter will show. Walter, you got to show guns now. Oh, uh, not right now, this minute. Okay, but you're gonna have to show some guns. Uh, Gerald slash gang shooting. Um, says what's up? I'll have to dig something up. 
Uh, uh, he says, I'm sorry, it's not gang shooting. <laughs> That's my dyslexia talking. It's Gerald slash gag gun shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Quick, what's going on? He's the one that told us about Clubber Lang. Uh, Richard Hughes also in here. Highway Run 77, Gerald Leifer, Loafers. He just jumped on. Real Cujo is in here. Real. Shout out to Real Cujo. Oh, you know. Recall Junkie 1981, Ryan Brown, Vanessa Kitty, Gorillas and Guns. Um, Please. So there you go. E Rock, Brian Quick. We've got uh, Morty Rick as well in the house. Um, I don't think I've seen Morty. I don't think I've seen Morty Rick before. Uh, Jack Barr. Uh, let's see who else is in here. Uh, Wardex. Lola just got in. I don't know if you can hear her move, moving around, making uh, my story. Then we now we also have someone called Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> Vanilla <That's> Gorilla. <laughs> Um, and Vanilla Gorilla says, uh, Barrio Van Peoples was in a badass werewolf movie. Okay. Um, uh, Real Cool Joe says he met Jennifer Love Hewitt at Walter Reed. Okay. I, I, I'm going to have to stop there and talk about Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, she's pretty, uh, she, uh, Walter, don't you dare claim Jennifer Love Hewitt. No, I'm not, I'm not claiming anything that she, she can rock, she can rock the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, <laughs> I got dibs, Walter. No. <laughs> Jennifer Love Hewitt is pretty freaking awesome. You can't. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think anyone could argue that one. No. Mm -hmm. She's pretty, 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 pretty awesome. She's not a spring chicken. Still looks good. Yeah. No. Yeah. She still looks good, man. Everything's, you know, everything's all there and intact and everything. Yeah. So lots of respect. It's all, I think it's all real too. It's not like a Dow um, Corning made or something. You know. Okay. Mm, don't. I don't know how much I care about that. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, it matters, but does it really matter? It bumps up the quality level a little higher. Yeah. You know? Does it really matter? You know, I think I don't think that matters to dudes. I don't think we care. Oh, Forge oh. from Freedom is here. He's in the chat. Oh, yeah. uh, by the way, Sam, if you're in the chat and you want to join us, uh, Lola. 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 Mute your, you mute your screen for crying out loud, <laughs> woman. It's not me this time. Mute it. Okay, there we not, go. Well, it will be if somebody calls me. I better yeah. turn it off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so Forge from Freedom is in there. Shout out to Forge from Freedom. Um, Sam, if you've got time, you can jump on. Just uh, get in touch with Lola, and maybe Lola will get will send you the things. I got I got a call, Sam. I keep forgetting to do it. So. Yeah, Sam's a good guy. My, I like Sam, and I'm trying to encourage him to get on air more and, like, practice his social media or his <laughs> – skills of hanging out with the folks and talking to them. I think I said Vanessa Kitty, but if I didn't, one more time, did. Vanessa Kitty. I think you did. As well. So I think that's it. Kimber Smith, I see also with us. Kimber Smith. So there you go. Lead Devil and Opt Out of Gun Control, which I think I said before. So, okay, if I missed anyone, Hawkeye, I see that. Um, Hawkeye said, I've had a, a butt implant explode on me before. No. Oh, ah. So okay, not, I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand the logistics of that, Hawkeye. Was it you that had the butt implant inside of you explode, or oh, you're doing were you the doing some doing the bump with somebody in it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Were you doing some damage to a butt implant and it exploded? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, that's a good story. I think we, we would all like to hear about that. No, no. And no, you don't <laughs> want to hear about it. No, that sounds gross. Yeah. Yeah, LC is also in here with us. So uh, shout out to everyone. If I missed anyone, Sleeping Angels is in here as well. If I missed anyone, uh, Micro Jupiter said, uh, Micro Jupiter seventy eight says hashtag Guns and Buns. <laughs> Gun? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Gorillas and Guns has a hashtag which I'm not gonna repeat. He said <laughs> he said jizz hands, not jazz hands. Jizz hands. Jizz. So. <laughs> <laughs> you jag off. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> um. Um, Hawkeye says, I thought about getting butt implants, but not now. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Hawkeye, I don't know if that's a dude or or um, a dudette. Dude, um, I, guess there, I guess there's dudes that get butt implants, right? I, yeah. I guess, man. I don't know. No. Yeah, I, I know. Yes, uh, Lola's telling me that dudes get the pectoral implant because The Rock got that one. Are you, are you, and they get calf implants. Scott Scott Kimball, are you admiring the hat I have on right now? Because this is Tyvin's hat. You got to talk to Tyvin. I don't know if you'll get a signed one from Tyvin. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's yeah, you, you got to be super special to get a signed one. From Tyvin. <laughs> 
that's how it goes. I have to find my my Tyvin hat because I don't know. I I have that hat. I don't know where it is. I need yeah. to bring it in. I need to keep a bunch of hats here in the studio in case I run in here. So we were talking about implants. So dudes, Lola says dudes get the pectoral implant because I I know the Rock. He actually got that. Really? Yeah. And and he got the calf implants as well, the Rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so dudes get calf implants really? as well, I guess. Yeah, I'm disappointed, man. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Um, are there any implants that you would do, Walter? You know, Negative. I don't need. Would you? No. Um, no, don't go you, there now. Would don't, you? Would don't. you put an implant in the Keller Jewels? In the gimmick? Yeah. No. I don't no. know what you call your particular situation. <laughs> I, Mr. I, Johnson or I don't want no we Willie, we Willie Keller. I don't know. What you I don't need no unnecessary <laughs> knifing down in that region. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. um, it ain't a matter, it ain't a matter, yeah, no, <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to do that, there's, there's, uh, plastic paraphernalia you can <laughs> use, if your junk doesn't work, there's all kinds of other things you could do, there's pills, so at, there's yeah, pills. At, yeah, there's pills or whatever, at this point in my life, I would say no to all those various, I don't want nobody putting no knife down on the thing, you know, yeah, I'm not happy, it takes a lot for me to have any kind of surgery, man. You know, and I have Crohn's, and I've had a couple of surgeries yeah. due to the fact that I have Crohn's and stuff like that. But uh, you don't want to have it unnecessary just just for that. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, yeah. You know, but I'm not. You know, look, people do things. I'm not against. Um, there's people well, that do lots of um, body yeah. modification and stuff like that, which is I'll leave cool that. as long as you're being safe with it. I've seen some cool things. Yeah. I've seen some. <laughs> Some not so cool things. I was reading the yeah. other day about this girl, and I didn't know you could do this, right? But this girl had a body uh, implant, uh, body modification, where they inject this dye into your eyeball. Oh. So they inject it into your eyeball, and you can change the color. Not the, not the, your, your iris, but you can change the color of, like, what's white right now in your Ooh. eyeball. No. And you can make it pink or purple or whatever. So this girl had that. And then it it started leaking out of the side of her eye, and now her eye is all swollen, and she's going to lose that eye probably. Well, so what's that tell you? Yeah. Well, you, but, you might not want to squirt that goo in your eyeball. Yeah, but people, can, you can do what you want to do with your body. Oh, I, I, as long as I'm not paying for it. Hey, rock huh? and roll. Catwoman of New York. Yeah, Lola's asking me about the Catwoman of New York. There's Catwoman of every state now, man. There's uh, too many people that are over plastic surgery up. I'm okay no. with body modifications like uh, earrings, piercings, and yeah, a little boob job. You know, some people need some boobs. You know, but yeah, yeah, or 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 minus boob jobs. Some, or some a slight, have, it's, well, yeah, yeah. That sometimes it's like an overburden. Kind some of people thing. have to have some taken out. Yeah, because it's just too so, much for the old yeah. body. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're saying you're not doing any kind of? Would you implant a gun in your body if you could? Would you? <laughs> Like no. go cyborg. <laughs> no. Yeah, Spencer was saying the other day, would you like to have like the shotguns in your forearm so you could just Yeah. I'm like, oh, how about that? No, 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 no. No. Don't want it. No. Now if you gotta get if you gotta get you know, metal and stuff put in because of medical stuff, that's one thing. But you know, just to yeah. do it like, hey, tomorrow I think I'm gonna go get my uh you know, this yeah. chopped up or this put it's like, really? Yeah. Mm, I don't um, know. Yeah, I'm, uh, listen. I I think we all shouldn't be the same, and I like I support people being able to do whatever they want, and I and I have some friends who do a lot of body modifications. I think it's cool or whatever. Um, I you know if you yeah they, they, like someone's asking me. There's a woman like there's the cat woman, but that cat the cat woman of New York didn't deliberately get surgery to look like a cat. But there are people who do get the surgery to look like a cat yeah. or or different animals and things like that. Um, I, look, I'm fine with all that. Oh, you know, it is like, you know, it's freedom. I, I truly believe in freedom. You can do what you want to your own body. And sometimes it goes bad. But you well, know, yeah, you know, once again, as long as the gov's not paying for it, I'm fine with it. Yeah, we all do things that go bad. You might ride a motorcycle. That's not necessarily a good idea. Yeah, as long as your head don't hit the, the, you know, the yeah. but driving a car is not is is not nothing is safe. Nothing that we do is safe or guaranteed not for, not for or real. Not for sure. I mean, like I, that, I yeah. test fire guns in the shop, you know. Every once in yeah. a while, you know. Yeah, but even guns, right? That does some damage to us. I mean, that's why we're pushing. Wait, for... what you say? I can't hear you. What you exactly. say? Exactly. <laughs> that's why we're pushing for suppressors for everyone. You know. Yeah. But and and even with the thing about suppressors that people don't realize, even if every if even if every gun has a suppressor on it, you're still going to need hearing protection. 
You know, especially if you shoot as repeatedly as we do. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know, if you go down to the range and you wear um, Air Pro and you do like five rounds or ten rounds or something like that, and it, of 22 and you wear Air Pro, it's all good. But yeah, that's the one thing with noise is that repeated, constant noise, even at a lower than than what they well, say. Yeah, I've done a lot of a lot of grinding with metal grinding and. And sawing yeah. and cutting and that stuff just kills your ears. So yeah, industrial noise does a lot of damage yeah. to people all the time. So yeah, I think I think most of my damage is from that, not so much from shooting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me see here. Do, 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 do. I think there's some people that did body modifications to look like the creatures from Avatar the movie. Eh, I might, I might, yeah, I might hit a chick like that once. I might tap it out just for the, you know, just. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> no, no, Walter, too weird. No, I'm not. You can do, hey, like, like you can do what you want your body. You can tap what you want. Uh, okay, yeah. Right now, I can't do any of that, no matter no, what. No, yeah, so. you're tapped up right now. Yeah, so. there's, there's no license for that. Um, I, I don't know if I ever have, if I have a get out of jail free card, I'm not using it for that. Uh, Jennifer for that, Love no. Hewitt, maybe. Angela Bassett, definitely. Without a doubt. You know oh, who was I? Uh, what was the the black the black chick from the seventies that was um, in the? She was like the superhero black chick. Um, oh, um, you're talking about? Um, she was in all the black exploitation movies. Yeah. Oh Angie, my. Angie. Angie no. something. Yeah. No, um, what's her name? But anyways, oh my god, good looking girl. Oh, Damn. Is, is that who should should Peggy know to put her name on your get out of jail free card? I just I just discovered her. I was flipping through some stuff and I saw some of the <laughs> pictures, and I was like, "Oh my God, she's a good looking girl." You just discovered her from the seventies. Well, you know that was I wasn't you know. Yeah, you don't look at movies enough apparently. If you're just oh, catching up to movies um, from the seventies, what movie? What movie was it? People will tell us. Oh shit! Um, what movie? Pam okay, Pam Greer. Pam, Pam Greer. Greer. Oh, okay, oh, Pam my Greer. God, yeah. yeah, she's a good looking girl. Wow. Oh, you think so? Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my sister kind of looks like Pam Greer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's kind of, you know, I'm just telling you. Yeah. Warnings, though. Warnings, though, Walter. If you ever meet my snow. <laughs> yeah. Sister alert. Sister alert. Yeah. Don't, you know you know the line. You know the line. I your can sister, look. By the way, your sister's very attractive. I don't know if she ever watches these hangouts. <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm, I, you know. Yeah, you expected some big head Crow Magnum yeah. looking chick, right? <laughs> uh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, when I went to, when, when Walter and I went to SEMA, not this year, but last year, I met his sister. He's like, yeah, you got to meet my sister. And I'm thinking, yes, that's pretty much what I was thinking, Walter. <laughs> you in a dress. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You know, maybe you with some long hair. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. But no, your sister is very nice, and she's a very nice person, and she yeah. she is a fan. She watches. I don't know if she watches these hangouts, but yeah, she watches my posts and stuff, the Instagram yeah. stuff. Like she that. looks at the posts and all that, and I've seen her like it and reshare it and all that. So yeah. shout out. I don't know if we have a nickname for her or whatever, but shout out to her. She's she's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, no, no, you're not going to see my sister. Sorry, Vordex. Yeah. Yeah. We're um, not showing pictures. Just take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. If if Walter's sister looked like him in a dress or something or with long hair, I would totally tell you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I would not lie to you, but she's very very nice. So, um, LV Louis Cipher says that his um, he says my upper spine is metal C three T four. I could do a cameo prototype Terminator unit. <laughs> wow. No, that, yeah, that, that, once again, that's that's not like usually that kind of stuff is not. Yeah, that's probably not, and that's also <laughs> yeah, that's probably not fun. You know, um, I hope that I hope you feel good with that though. I hope it like gives you back mobility and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, Sam from Forge from Freedom Guns and uh, Gorillas and Guns says uh, he seems like an awesome dude. He is, he's a cool guy. So um, opt out of gun control says he would put in a mini gun. Now you're not going to see me in a miniskirt there. Shut up and play the guitar. Yeah, <laughs> someone make a someone make a meme out of Walter. Let's see what Walter would look like in a. <laughs> yeah, that'd be scary, interesting. Scary, scary stuff. <laughs> scary probably stuff. don't want to see that. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. If I see, um, 
you know, if I see if I see Walter's like white pasty calves, <laughs> it's, that is disturbing on its own. <laughs> yeah. What are you showing? Oh, the the more white pastiness. Yeah. Yeah. How the hell do you live in Florida, man? And the sun's not good for you, my friend. Yeah. No, but I'm saying you do pretty well. Like a uh, baby face is pretty fair skinned as well, but he the sun he doesn't do so well in the sun. I don't. I have 15 minutes out in the in the summer sun, and I'm starting to burn. So. Yeah. 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 No, it's not healthy. Besides, after after you know after you, I did a lot of welding, TIG welding without wearing anything on my arms, and my arms took a beating for that. So you know yeah. I'm not. Nah. I don't want no skin cancer stuff. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Gorillas and Guns says um, that's what happens when you spank the monkey too much. Don't. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> There's some stuff going on about stuff that people would implant. I'm like way behind on the chat here, so I probably missed a bunch of. Okay. So what's There's up, some what's Pam up, Greer? Man? Everyone was telling you about Pam Greer. Pam Greer, yeah. she's cool even nowadays. Well, she's probably still a good looking woman, you know. I mean, yeah, but um, Angela Bassett, awesome. I probably know who you're talking about. I just I can't picture yeah. her, you know. Yeah. I, I I thank thanks thankfully for the interweb. I got to see Pam Greer at her prime, and oh wow, wow, wow. Yeah, oh. Chihuahua. Yeah, Pam Greer is pretty badass. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so let's see what we were supposed to, we were supposed to be talking about this 10 millimeter. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> high point. Get, yeah, this high point. First of all, by a show of hands, let's see who who is um. Let's see who hates high points and who likes high points. So let's get let's do like an impromptu poll. Like everyone say either do you hate it, do you you're love in it, or, you're or out. do you or do you not care? So three choices: hate, love, don't care. Let's see what people have to say right now, and I will read off. I will shout out whoever answers that question. Let's do that before we get into the thing. Let's see where everyone's at with high point just on its own. You know, so opt out of gun control says thumbs down. <laughs> okay. Uh, Warsaw Patriot uh, says he doesn't mind. And that I'm seriously reading what he's saying. <laughs> and, I, and I don't actually either. He says he, he doesn't mind. Um, so Richard Hughes says don't care. Um, Shut up and play your guitar says hate. Uh Okay. Wow. This, okay. It just it just jumped with everyone yeah. saying <laughs> like uh, Michael Bender hate imposter love E Rock ten millimeter all day. So E Rock doesn't give a crap <laughs> if it's ten millimeter. He's, he's happy. Yeah. yeah. Phil Bixler hate uh, Lester Thornton love lots of love. Okay. Cool. Tango Hunter says never had one um, to have an opinion. So he says don't care. Scott Campbell don't care. Um, what's a high point from Joe Carpenter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Archangel says he doesn't care as long as it goes bang. So, yeah. uh, Larry Shar too says meh. Hamburger Helper, I've been waiting on this ten millimeter high point. Okay, so there you go. Say, yeah. um, Warsaw Patriot says uh, no hate or dislike. Mike Bryant says love to hate or hate to love. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> high point. Uh, Mister Fifty Seven Bronco says don't care. Wardex don't care. Recoil Junkie don't care. I'll keep my Glocks. Chris Bullis, don't care. Okay, don't care is getting a lot of. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is even jumping faster than I could read it. Uh, yeah. So uh, that goes to tell you. Yeah, Mark Wagner, neutral. Uh, you know, there's lots of. That, so I think it looks like most people are neutral. There's a couple of people that do like High Point, and then there's uh, Ryan Brown says, love them. Um, you know, Mike. Mike uh, Bryant says, "I think it's fine for what it is. What was yeah. this around? Never, well, I never get... own one. Yeah. As long as you don't expect more than, you know. Yeah. So Vanessa Kitty says, "How how quickly do high points break down? Not very quickly. It's uh, not very easy to you take. You gotta apart. drive a pin out to take apart the hard. Yeah. Don't try to do it now, Walter. You're gonna lose parts." <laughs> Probably so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't know what you're doing when you take a high point apart, you will lose parts. But the good thing about high point is that they, because uh, points fix parts will just go flying all over the place. But yeah, they'll send you back parts and things like that if you can't find it. So yeah. Okay. yeah. So Walter, so did you did you pull up an article on this um, carbine? Uh, no, it's I have the, not. It's on the truth about guns. Hold on, let me put this okay. in the I've seen it. I chat saw it. for you. I saw it yesterday, but I didn't look at it. I didn't yeah, read it. Yeah. 
There must be a reason why they've done this. I just put I just put a link in the chat, and then okay. I will go ahead and put it in the. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and put it in our chat for anyone who wants to see it, and uh, jump in there and tell me what you guys think about it. So, did you get? Did you pull up the article? Yes, I am looking yeah, at it right let's now. Yeah, let's hear. Yeah, let's hear. Read it down for us and tell me what you think about it. Oh, read it to myself or? Yeah, or to us or, you know, well, so we can okay. see what I'll do you're... a little bit of that. Um, let's see here. I'm kind of skimming through it to find the good stuff. Um, only 389. Uh, uh, you know, 10 million people have been, the big. What is the, what is the fantasy? What is the, tell me what the draw is at 10 millimeter. I don't. I don't know, but I know that 10 millimeter is 10 millimeters old school to me because that was um, early 90s. I think it was or late, late. Late eighties, the FBI adopted ten millimeter for mm -hmm. a while, and it was all a rage, and then boop, gone. Yeah. So, so okay. So let's. So maybe let's jump into that first. Let's look up the ten millimeter thing because I don't know what the big thing is, but I'm trying to. So how long has ten millimeter been around? Um, like I said, I definitely I don't know exact things, but I know okay, it was. Let's, let's pull this up. Uh, ten millimeter auto ten by twenty five official CIP nomenclature. Um, it's okay. a powerful semi-automatic pistol cartridge first developed by American Jeff Cooper and introduced in 1983 with the Bren 10 pistol. Yeah, Bren 10 was what some, San, San, Sonny Crockett used. In oh, Monday. okay, cool. Uh, and it was designed was des its design was adopted and later produced by ammunition manufacturer FFV Norma AB of um, Tours Sweden or something. Never even heard of that. Okay. Although it was selected for service by the Federal Bureau of Investigation Sorry in 1989, that. the aftermath of the 1986 FBI Miami shootout, shootout, the cartridge was later decommissioned, except by the hostage rescue team and special weapons and tactics team. Yeah. Um, after the firearms training unit eventually concluded that its recall was excessive in terms of of training for average agents and police officers. Checked. Yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah, I've been to Quantico where the, where the FBI guys train and stuff like that. So, and I know that they are deep into uh, calibers. They they do a lot of work studying different calibers and all that kind of stuff over there. So I'm sure. Yeah, I'm getting back up here after I fell off the. There we go. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> oh, I you closed, dropped out. I cl you didn't see me go away. No, no, I was reading. I was oh, reading I, closed the, the wrong, I, I closed the wrong window, and it's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I was reading about 10 millimeters. So um, maybe people can tell us out there. I'm going to assume people like it because it's more bang. It's, yeah, it's more bang, like, you know, the folks that like the 45. So let's see what people yeah. say. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I, you know, if I had my choice, it's like, okay, 9 millimeter because it's everywhere. Next one down the line would be 45 because it's kind of everywhere. And then let's fill in the blanks with the, I guess, yeah. 40 cal because it's everywhere. And 10 millimeter? Good luck. Have you fired 10 millimeter before? No. no. At that time when 10 millimeter was was um, special, I I was, I am a pot to pee in, so. Okay. I, I had I had AK rounds and you know stuff like that. But yeah. I didn't have, so yeah. let's do. Lola wants us to do a little poll here as we dig into this, and she wants to know. Um, so same question that I asked about high point. Do you like, hate, or don't care about ten millimeter? So I'll go down because so obviously you know I mean people have been giving some of their opinion. Um, let's see. Uh, what are they? I mean, the obviously Miami Vice made the ten millimeter popular. That's from Lester Thornton. Yeah. Um, the Go ahead. The obviously the high point uses the high point magazine, so you know you don't have mag issues there. But yeah, it, Richard I, Hughes says it's more foot pounds than a forty-five. Probably so. Yeah. Probably so. Yeah. Um, forty-five is kind of a you can you can see forty-five going down range sometimes. But it's yeah. not that fast. So. Yeah. Tango Hunter says there shall be no other relevant calibers other than nine millimeter, five five six, and. 762 by 39 because I said so. <laughs> Don't forget 308. Don't forget 308. Don't forget 308. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These exotic rounds are hard to obtain ammo. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you see, but you do see 10 millimeter in the store. So I see 10 millimeter at the big yeah, gun store. And yeah, it's just not that, I mean, it's not that, I guess, 
uh, out of a gun store is probably not that common, like a Walmart and stuff. I might be wrong. I, you know, I, I'm not looking for 10 millimeter at Walmart, but I do yeah. go into Walmart and look at the ammo and see what they have in stock. And, right. um, you know. So Hawkeye says, I think 10 millimeter fans are nine millimeter fans who got tired of hearing how powerful 45 was. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Uh, uh, yeah. Mike, Mike Bryan says 10 millimeter seems like the 44 mag of semi autos. Uh, it's not practical for everyone or every situation, but cool for special occasions. Special occasions. Yeah. Like, you know, like when you have low and brow and stuff like that, you have some. Uh, yeah. Well, or when you have champagne. I mean, yeah, low and brow. It's low. Oh, low and brow. That's a special occasion in your mind. Remember that was, that was those like the commercials, like, you know, dun, 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 low and brow. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. I'm know. not that deep into beer. So. <laughs> Archangel says the 10 millimeter is great to drop bears, hogs, and bad guys. So he's obviously a fan. Uh, Tyvin Show says 10 millimeter is only coming back around in popularity because Mac is talking about it. <laughs> um, he says a 22 can do the same job. That's what Tyvin. That's what Tyvin says. Uh, that's debatable. You know, 22 Magnum, I'm, I'm not, 22 is dangerous. Don't get me wrong. Nobody wants to be shot by 22, no. you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, 22 Magnum uh, doesn't get its due. Yeah, but I don't know. You know, and I think 9mm is the perfect round, if you ask me. So, yeah. pistol pistol caliber round. Yeah. So, um, uh, just say this. Uh, safety uh -huh. armor firearms is not going to be doing a 10 millimeter carbine. Oh, I'm sure people are asking that question, right? No, uh, nope. Yeah. So, that, so your answer to that is no. Is that what no. you're saying? Well, well, where are you going to get a 10 millimeter magazine from? Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe I can find the the the, the, the hidden lot of Bren 10 mags somewhere, but I don't know. I mean, does does Glock make a Bren uh, 10 millimeter mag uh, gun? So, a Bren 10 still being manufactured? No. Let me. No. Who who made who made the Bren 10? Hold on, I, now I gotta go look that you gotta up. You got do some research there. I'm not sure. Bren 10. Bren, yeah. I'll look at it with you. So I know it's a cool round. I know my brother Anonymous, and he's gonna watch this, and he's you know, um, he he's a fan of the ten. He keeps telling me ten millimeter, ten millimeter, ten millimeter. Yeah, whatever. just because that's what because Mac's saying that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's because Mac is saying it. You <laughs> know, I think Anonymous spent some. I mean, it's part. It's probably partly because of that for sure. <laughs> Um, but you know, he spent some time looking into things, but the Brent 10 pistol was made by Dornis and Dixon enterprises. Okay. From 1983 to 1986. Wow. So they only stuck around that, that it only yeah. made that gun for three years, huh? That's probably about the time that Miami vice was on. Oh, okay. In, in that same time frame. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the whole thing, if you look at this, art, let's read this article. New from High Point, 10 millimeter carbine. High Point may not be glamorous, and they may not be able to spell muzzle. I don't know where that comes from. Um, but making functional firearms at the lowest possible price point doesn't leave a lot of room for cocktail hours, spa treatments, and industrial designers. It looks like they do, however, listen to the gun buying market as they've released something many have clamored for for many years, a pistol caliber carbine and 10 millimeter auto. High point distributor press release and uh, more photos of their 10 millimeter carbine follow. So then there's a bunch of pictures. It's uh, $38.99.99. This new carbine will shoot much higher dollar carbine, out will uh, shoot with much higher dollar carbines, and of course will send the bullet just as fast. High Point began work on this project in the spring of 2017 due to uh, customer demand for an affordable carbine platform chambered in this powerful pistol cartridge. Um, when a 10 millimeter round is fired from a barrel several inches longer than a handgun, the velocity range and energy really jumps up, making the carbine so powerful it's even uh, legal for big game hunting in some states. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, this new carbine chambered for the potent 10 millimeter cartridge will make a lot of buyers happy, says MKS president uh, Charles Brown. Is that who owns? Um, Must be. High point. Okay. Tough, reliable, and accurate. It fills, fits the bill for a robust, reliable, and accurate firearm that delivers excellent performance. So listen, I think that's smart of them to um, to to like try to reach out to what people are asking for, right? Yeah. Yeah, if people, if people are asking for it, then hey, more power to them. 
you know. Um, yeah. I hope it works for him. Probably, we'll have to swing into the uh, high point. Okay. Yeah, LB Louis Cipher says he's a big 10 millimeter aficionado. Um, yeah, but how many will go to the dark side? Yeah, and get, a, and get a high point. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I think it's good for them to do it. I think it's a good price point. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely. That's a yeah. That's a good price point for sure. Yeah. So let's see what Tyvin's saying because Tyvin said something and it got blocked. Um, Look at it this way. If you shoot a bad guy with a 10 millimeter, you do not want them to die right away or shoot them with a 22 so you can talk to that person and tell them how bad a person they are before they die. <laughs> Whatever, Tyvin. That's so crazy. <laughs> if, if, if I got to shoot the bad guy, Tyvin, he's going to get double or triple tapped, and he ain't going to be talking after I fucking get tapped. Yeah, I'm not even worrying about all that. Um, I, Listen, so I think that just like we were talking about people having the right to body modify, yeah. I think um, yeah. there should be all kinds of, of calibers, right? Because that pushes forward innovation and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And people seem to like the 10 millimeter round. Not, yeah, maybe yeah. we're not big on it right now. Who knows? You know, that might I, change. That, that, you know. Okay, I read up on the Bren 10 while you were looking, going the other way. And I guess the Bren 10 is a, a, a modified or increased in size, um, basically a CD. CZ seventy five design. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, and they, I guess what threw them off. You know, I always say the hardest part about the Bren ten was the magazines. They were having the magazines made in Italy, and the Italians seized them as war, war materials or something, mm -hmm. and um, so that screwed up their whole people getting mags and people canceled orders and they went bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's yeah. what I'm surprised. I'm surprised somebody else hasn't came back out with a Bren ten. Because a lot of the old guns are new again, you know, they get recycled, and and um, that would probably be popular. Yeah, uh, it's done properly. It brought back to market properly. Um, yeah. So Mike Bryant says, I and this is a good point. He says, I hear a lot of people like the high point carbines. No one who owns them seems to complain. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen. We haven't done a torture test on a high high point carbine. I've never owned one. Have you? No, never. I've I've, yeah. I've 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 been around them and seen how they're made and stuff, and I know I know. Yeah, yeah. Brian Quick says ten millimeter is for guys that like to wear camo speedos at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, Justin E is in the building. He says, "What's up?" He finally made it here. Um, so I think, look, I think the ten millimeter. Lots of people like it, so that's good. Companies should make things that they think there's a demand for. You're always taking a risk, and I think that um, obviously. From 2017 to now, and High Point's made one, that's pretty quick. I don't know yeah. how much big changes they had to do to uh, fill that. And um, I don't, do you see anything in there about what magazine and all that? I'm sure it's proprietary. Yeah, it's probably there. It's like, like, their, like their handguns are all yeah. High Point yeah. mags. And I know that there's kits. There's kits that people make for the High Point carbines. So what I don't like about High Points is they're incredibly unattractive. You know, yeah. they work and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how they would really be like long term. I think in the long term, you may have problems that develop with them, especially since they're not easy to clean. So if it's not easy to clean, yeah. you, people probably don't clean it as much and all that kind of stuff. So maybe a kit for it will make it look better if you care about that sort of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think a lot, once again, the, the high point falls into that where somebody has just enough money for that and they want a carbine. And it does what they want to do. Yeah. You know. So what's the what's the price of ten millimeter? Let's look into that because that's a big thing. I mean, if you're gonna buy a high point carbine because it's cheaper, you better not. You know, because if you're that person who's budget conscious, well, you got a you Toyota know, Corolla with a four fifty four in it. You just can't afford. Yeah, the it's like yeah, yeah. So let's see, like uh, ten millimeter ammo. What the general costs of ten millimeter ammo? Um. So let's look up somewhere. I don't know where folks would think would be a good place, but let's look at Midway. So Midway yeah, that's has... That's a, um, that's a good place to go. Like 20... Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's on the truth about guns, too. Yeah, I'm seeing it's like 33, 36 cents around. Kind of. Can I see something on um, the... 47 cents around. I didn't see this. There's um, lots of different kinds, like defensive. Cause I'm seeing some defensive that's a dollar sixty-five around. Oh yeah, yeah. You get the fancy stuff. Yeah, for the defensive. So, 
see that becomes another question right if your budget if you're if you care about what it's going to cost you know eroc says expensive 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 so if yeah. you care about what it's going to cost do you really want uh yeah. are you going to get the high point carbine or are you going to get something a little bit higher end or well, a lot more higher you, end? you don't have a lot of choices probably for a 10 millimeter carbine i mean you don't i mean yeah. Yeah, Philo says, stole my comment. Damn, Hank, that's cold. <laughs> uh, uh, but I don't want to, I'm not changing the subject purposely, but I just happened to go on the Truth About Guns and it says DOJ ATF to reconsider whether bump, ban to bump fire stocks. But yeah, man, that. we've got all kinds of things that are getting, uh, where do you see this firearm blog? Yeah, that's in the Truth About Guns. Truth About Guns? Okay. So yeah, I, I, guess, um, I guess that's coming back around or something. I don't know. Everything's coming back around. I mean, we've got these two bills, the uh, reciprocity uh, bill mixing with the Nix fix and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, so that's interesting. And I'm pretty sure that if that's why there's folks out there encouraging that you guys push back against it. Um, I think that these politicians, it's not just Democrats that want to mix those two bills. So I think Republicans really want to be able to say that they did something and they're going to mix these bills. And then, yes, a lot of stuff is going to come back around. And what I worry about is that if they think they have a chance of mixing these two bills and making it happen, that they're going to uh, add things on to these bills. So Every will could do that. Yeah. Yes. Like, like so a bump fire thing or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Oh, what are I? Oh, so you really, really, really want to um, consider what's going on with that? Um, where was this? Where was that article? That was, was in that? the truth. Truth about guns. Oh, right, right, right below the high point article. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to. F yeah. And then you've got like New Jersey that's trying to put a thing wow. in effect and make you a criminal just because you already own one. You possess and, one, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's all it's all insane. Because that's a piece of plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, as DailyCaller.com is reporting, the DOJ and ATF are taking a fresh look at whether to ban bump fire stocks in the aftermath of the Las Vegas concert ma ma Las Vegas concert massacre. Excuse me. As part of the ATF's review into bump stocks, it plans to publish a notice that would eventually appear in the Federal Register seeking public comment. The legal analysis will revolve around the definition of the term machine gun and whether the bump stock falls in that definition. That will probably depend on what the meaning of is is. And you know what? This is why people thought what the NRA did when they came out and um, advocated for this, that was really fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. and, and this this goes back to that. Everyone was like, oh, these guys are geniuses yeah. now because they really? thought, oh, they're pushing it back to the ATF. And the ATF already said that it, that it was legal and we can't do anything. Yeah. And now they're coming back around to it. And they're like, yeah, you know, yeah. this um, they were geniuses. You know, we, we might want to change the law on that. And anytime this kind of stuff happens, look at what they're saying here that they're looking at. They're not looking at. at um, bump fire stocks, they're looking at what constitutes a machine gun. That could be really, really wide ranging. That could yeah. be a very wide brush that they paint things as a machine gun. Um, <laughs> we've got things like the, um, you know, the binary stocks or the Echo 2 trigger or this thing yeah. or that thing. Lots of things can get painted as that. So, well, you know what? Yeah. Not a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, until I know what happened in Las Vegas for real, mm -hmm. not not what you're not being told. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, let's not talk about any of it. Release all the info from Las Vegas, every drop, and then we'll talk about bump fire stock. Yeah, Kentucky <laughs> Firearms Network um, sa says uh, NRA made a video today saying Nick's fix wasn't bad. What do you think? I haven't seen that video, so um, I can't say. Yeah, it's tough to say what we think about that. Uh, let me see if I could try to pull that up real quick here okay. while we're um, doing all kinds of things. I um, want to watch if Dana Lush is doing it, you know. that's You said that's the only time you want to watch? Yeah, I only want to see her stand there and get mad. I'd like to see her. Yeah, and let mad. us know where you saw that video. Is it on their YouTube channel? Where is it? Um, because I'll be hunting here, and NRA usually takes – a long time um so i see there's a video called demand national reciprocity 
Yeah. I don't know if that video has anything to do with what you're saying. You probably heard. I'm gonna, I don't know. If, can you hear that? Passed the Concealed Carry yeah. Act of 2017. The bill would solidify our God-given rights to protect ourselves with a firearm, to be able to carry a firearm across state lines with reciprocity, the law of the land. The importance of this bill passing cannot be overstated, and the timing could not be more urgent. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity, and our time is now. I am urging each of you to contact your representatives and demand the Concealed Carry Act of 2017, H.R. 38, be passed. The capital switchboard number is this, 202-224. Yeah, I don't know if this is the video that he's talking about. So let me know, who was it that was telling us about that? Um, uh, who who said that? Who who was it that brought that up? Uh, Kentucky Firearms, let me know. Um, it's on YouTube. So is it this video, Demand National Reciprocity, Kentucky Firearms? Let me know before we waste a bunch of time listening to this uh this NRA dude talking whether, you know, if my time is worth listening to his diatribe here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to um, to mix these two bills. And, you know, listen, we've been hearing, I mean, I think Mac has been trying to tell you guys that Republicans and the NRA are behind mixing these two bills. And so... For me, the thing that I worry about it, that mixing these bills and putting all kinds of things in there and what gets added to it and all that is let's make these things really simple and let them live on their own. Let sure. this mix fix it, thing live on its own and that and reciprocity live on its own. Don't mix it because you you know if you think I think more people in America would want reciprocity. So if you mix it, you're gonna bring down the reciprocity thing. I think um I think there's more people in America that don't think we need to do anything extra to fix the next check. You know, we just, there's already a law there. It should, probably shouldn't even be there, but it's there. Just follow that. Why do you need to fix it? And what goes into that bill of fixing it? Yeah. You know, so. Um, yep, I agree with you. So, okay, he says he tagged me on Facebook. Okay, I don't know how much that helps. Now I got to go look at Facebook. <laughs> and uh, figure out Facebook. Yeah, well, Walter, you carry everything right now. You, my friend, have the the world on your shoulders. You carry this. Uh, oh, you know. Well, carry. Okay, it. it's called setting the record straight. Nick Fick in the concealed carry act. It's the same dude. Oh, that yeah. same guy, but I don't know if it's the same um, thing. Let me see. I can't really hear After what it's trying to divide us in an effort to scuttle. Yeah, let me security. let me roll this back. You guys can hear it. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to like put up the video anyway, because the NRA is very litigious. I've already gotten emails from their asses, <laughs> from their lawyers, yeah. I should say. Yeah. So, but let's just listen to what this guy has to say. Self-defense bill in the history of the United States Congress is about to go to the House floor for a vote. As you can imagine, those on the left are trying to divide us in an effort to scuttle national concealed carry reciprocity. We cannot let that happen. If national concealed carry reciprocity becomes law, it will give tens of millions of Americans the right to protect themselves in a place where right now they can't. The bill has been combined with the background check fix bill, commonly known as the Nix fix bill. Is it perfect to combine the bills? No. But there is a reason behind it, to garner more votes to send a strong message to the Senate. This is what America wants. As with any massive and all-important bill, emotions are running hot. That's actually understandable. But sadly, some are spreading misinformation and even false accusations. Congressmen are being duped into regurgitating inaccurate and bogus talking points. One claim was that the Nix Fix bill includes, get this, Obama-style gun control measures. Let me make this perfectly clear. It does not. I have spoken to pro-gun experts and our friends inside the NRA's Institute for Legislative Action. People like Chris Cox. Who so so this is what's going on here. So basically, the NRA obviously is behind this and what they're trying to do. I'm not going to go into the whole thing. 
there. Uh, we can do that later and we can do it behind the scenes. Uh, we should probably bring up the Nix fix and see what's in there right now. But my thing is, it, it, why do these two things have to be the same thing? They, yeah, why, they, they don't have, have to be the same bill. I mean, if the Nix fix is well, so fantastic, it's too much why work to, to just do them separately and let them live on their own. Why can't it stand on its own then if it's so yeah. great? I think what's happening here is that the way the NRA feel, always it, works. It's feel good stuff is what well, it is. Yeah, the they're gonna that, make they're gonna make these people oh you fix the background check system at the same time oh you know no here's the problem with the NRA this is how they in my opinion right this is my opinion you can obviously tell me yours yeah. I think the NRA they get together they decide what they want us to do and then they try to convince us to go along with that it's not like they ask us or they talk to us or they even consider how we think about things. They decide how they want to do it. They go, oh, this is a good way to go. And then they go that direction. That's why we have the ATF and the DOJ looking to reclassify what a machine gun is and, and make it even more difficult now. So you, right. you, you have to jump through hoops to get a machine gun. That's already bullshit. And you saw that these folks from the NRA saying that they support that. They support the machine gun ban. And now they're trying to make the definition of what a machine gun is, um, you know, even wider, right? That's that's happening, and that's happening because of what they did before. That lots of folks went out there and said, "Oh, this is genius." And yeah. so now what they're trying to do is convince you of more genius and more yeah. geniosity on their part, instead of trying to find out from you what you believe and what you think, you know. And that's my problem with them. What do you think, Walter? Yeah, 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 yeah. Close. I mean, but yeah. like I said, though, that if if they attach that, then it's this thought that somehow these people, like Congress, or they did something good. You know, they made it harder, or they made it better, or whatever. And the only thing they're doing is just add more verbiage to something that already exists. And you're not making anything any better. You're not going to fix anything. You're not going to stop crazy people. So, you know. Just yeah, you already have the you already have the Nick's check thing, and you already have all these laws that don't prevent anything anyways. So why do you need more? They don't need more. I don't think we do, and I think they're moving further and further away from us. And yes, I think politically they're just a political machinery now because, um, or just a political mechanism now, right. which would probably be better grammar. Um, but well, I think I think what they're trying to do is just win a political battle. And they're like, oh, if we mix these things, are you fucking crazy? Yeah. Who actually believes that they're going to mix these two things? And d Democrats and, and, and some Republicans still don't want this. They, right. they oh, yeah. want gun control. What makes yeah. you think they won't go in there? First, we accept, oh, yeah, go ahead and mix it. Then they mix it. Then they add shit to it. Like, then oh, you get you nothing. Put this on there. Put or what you get is worse. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, what you get is worse. Like when this whole thing happened in Vegas, they should have said, we already have laws. It's already illegal to murder people. You know, well, there's all Trump, these laws that we have, and none of that would have stopped this. Stop trying to push that agenda. Trump kind of said that. Laws. Trump kind of said that. He it's, did, and then they, the media kept badgering him. Well, he opened the door, and then the NRA jumped right through the door and was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, let's do it. Well, once you again, it's, it's all feel good stuff. And. <laughs> Feel good stuff doesn't fix anything, so it just makes you feel good for a few minutes, and then you're you're miserable again. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, time will tell. Yeah, I, I'll just say that if anyone, uh, the way that I look at it right now is it. You know, we can go look at the next fix, next fix, and see what's in there. We can go look at HR thirty eight and see what's in there. But you look. Do you think these dudes are just going to copy and paste the next fix? into HR 38 and then not not copy and paste other shit in there. Well, yeah. You know, and then make it a more complicated bill. And then the next thing we know, like you do not want to create something that you have future presidents, future administration. That can change things. Yeah, using to fuck you over. Even harder. Yeah, you do not want to do that. Even, I, I think even these things drier. Yeah, let these things stand on their own. If they want to deal with the next fix, the problem, the thing that's going on here is they know that we, we're not going for the next fix nonsense. Right, 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 right. They know that. So they're like, oh, let's mix those two things together. Then we'll look like we're doing something and whatever. Well, it, it feels good. Yeah. Yeah, And I'll tell you something right now, man. I, I, I'm happy with, with them doing nothing. 
Okay, uh, it it would be great to get reciprocity. It would be great to get you know suppressors off the NFA, all of that. But I would be a I'm lot not, of times you're better off with these bastards leaving things exactly I'm, as it is and having gridlock in Washington D.C. I'm not holding my breath on any of it. So, um, yeah, I went over to Facebook like you said. Mm -hmm. You got a the the deal you posted up there from Brown Hills for that Z cut the the for the Zenith. Mm -hmm. uh, Z five K. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a deal. That's less than I paid for mine. Oh really? <laughs> you yeah, like that? I, huh? paid, I, paid, like, yeah. I paid like sixteen twenty five for mine, and you got that for fifteen twenty there. Wow, that's, a, that's better that's, than wholesale because you got yours a, wholesale, right? That's a freaking awesome price. I'm yeah. telling you. That's all, Lola. Lola, yeah. Walter loves your deal that you posted for the Zenith. But, oh, and yeah. he's throwing kisses now. <laughs> watch it, Walter. Yeah, watch it, you. But no, sisters, that's a, sisters and wives, Walter. Sisters and wives. No. <laughs> um, no, that's a good price. If you guys are looking yeah. for one of those Zeniths, that's a good price. Because the guy that I bought mine from, he had a good price. Yeah. Um, and he's he's like a guy that cuts you a better deal than the advertised price. Um, yeah. He's a dealer down in Key West. Um, but yeah, okay. that's a good that's a good deal. So anyone looking for that deal, and if you've got fifteen hundred dollars, yeah, you got, yeah, well, yeah, it's a lot of jack. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is, but it's a freaking awesome gun. <laughs> I tell you what, that little yeah. gun, it looks like it's awkward to shoot, but that oh, it's easy to shoot. It's yeah, a, we shot. Did I put out video of that yet? It's probably. I don't not. know. <laughs> After you shoot that thing, you'll never mess with us. Well, I know there's a lot of CZ love out there, so you you won't you won't you won't have sex with your CZ no more after you shoot that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, yes, it is. Like with this deal that Lola's um, got out there, it's fifteen hundred bucks. You can get two CZs for that, but yeah. Yeah, but if you're looking for something really cool, it was really nice, and it would be great to SBR or put a, um, Soon. a pistol cool brace on, on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think Walter, you're working on that. So that's coming soon, the Safety Harbor Fire. Uh, I think somebody was saying to you yesterday. Someone was saying, "Hey, hurry up with that." Oh, I'm hearing you, sister. I'm hearing you now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! When you start throwing the shoulders and all that around, it's dangerous. Get the finger up, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. Shmeggy forty two says, "I want an FK. Uh, I guess it's called the Bruno, but it's B R N O. Oh, frick, you can but get. I don't have eight grand. <laughs> that's like a down payment on a small house, man. Come on. Yeah, I posted my pictures I have of that, by the way, on Instagram. On my, I think yeah. it's on my Instagram and on my main Facebook page. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a super cool pistol, but not eight grand. Sorry. No. Yeah. You can get a machine gun. You can buy a, a, a decent machine gun for eight grand. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, you know, I think there there's always a market for everything, right? Oh, yeah. It's a high end. It's a it's a it's a connoisseur gun. That's what. Yeah. Now, it. here's the problem. See, when I saw these guns, I could have shot them, which is really crazy because I met Rob Pincus at this event in Atlanta the uh, Black Guns Matter event, and he had these two guns. He had the gun that he's been designing, the Agility, the Diggity, something like that is the name of the company. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a, a pistol designed by Rob Pincus. It's like a single stack. It's really light. Okay. And I like the feel of it and everything. And then I, I ha and so I handled that and dry fired it. And I did the same thing with the Bruno, which it's really nice, man. It's a really nice gun. It feels like $8,000. Right. And I didn't know any of this when he get, he just came and was like, oh, here's this hey, guy. Check it out, man. <laughs> yeah, and he was like showing it to everyone. You know, he, he went around and made sure it was like safe and we all verified it was safe. And he was like, hey, check this out. And I thought, wow, this gun's beautiful. It really is beautiful and it feels good. And I, and I was thinking, wow, this is a movie gun right here. Yeah, Probably will be. Yeah, but I didn't know it was eight grand because guess what? If I knew it was eight grand, I would have gone straight to the range. <laughs> And shot it. And put some ammo down range on that bad boy. Because that's got a funky caliber, too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, like yeah, but he I don't know whether or not he had the ammo. I don't know what the ammo costs. So I don't know. Rob Pincus is probably not watching this. But uh, I am in communication with him now. I'm going to try to get him to come on the show. I And I'm going to try to get my hands on that be, that Bruno. I saw an article about it, and I read it, and I was like, this is a cool gun. And then I, then I was... But it's like it's not eight grand cool, not for me anyway. So you know, it's yeah. No, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, you know, this is the thing with some of the guns, right? There, 
I don't know if the gun actually costs eight grand. Some people have a deliberate uh, marketing thing that what they're going to do is make this a really expensive gun so that the really wealthy guys buy it. It's exclusive. Yeah, exclusivity. That's not the most expensive gun I've ever handled, by the way. Oh, no. We, all you got to do is go to SHOT Show and go in the Parazzi booth and hold a $100,000 shotgun. And uh, then that's you, cheap. That's cheap. That's like a high point of shotgun. Well, yeah, but you can spend a lot more in the Parazzi booth. <laughs> no, the the 100000 Yeah, I've held. Lola and I held. Um, so how many? What was that? Like $2 million? Those shotguns we were handling at, at uh, Standard Manufacturing. <laughs> oh, that's crazy shit. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had like a couple. Of, it was in a case and everything. And they were like, oh, we'll take it out and let you. I was like, yes, please. <laughs> let me touch so, it. Yeah. yeah um, I, I guess I'd get more excited about hold, holding some you know, rare machine gun than I would. Um, would you drop, uh, would you, so, okay. Okay, would I spend 100 grand on a machine gun? Or on any gun? If it. I would spend it on certain machine guns, yes. If I had it to spend, yes. What machine guns uh, are you buying for? Something German. <laughs> World War II. <laughs> oh, like a Sturmgewehr? That's not Is that, that what much. what it costs? Oh, okay. I was about they to say. Just one, at auction, one just went at auction for $23,000. So. Um, but I've seen mm -hmm. them for less than that. But like the FG42, the side-fed magazine with the scope and the whole a really nice one that go for a hundred grand sometimes so mm -hmm. yeah i'm seeing a lot of people like someone says they want a fostec sbv as we as we do all <laughs> uh mg42 minigun minigun stg44 yeah um uh, those kind of guns are that's swing but um yeah because they're so you're, only spe you're only spending that on machine guns so what's your limit of your price for other than machine guns? Just like regular rifles, regular oh. handguns. How expensive are you going? Two thousand dollars? I spent I spent five on one. What was five? That was a semi-automatic FG forty two. Oh yeah, okay, that's yeah. true. Yeah. The one I brought out to your house that day and I forgot the magazine. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to re we'll have to revisit that. Yeah. Yeah. Will Killer says second minigun. <laughs> Uh, we won't get a minigun. We won't get a minigun for that. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. Do you yeah. have a mini? Wait, do you have a minigun? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. I was about to say uh, you didn't let yeah, me you shoot can the easy, minigun. Um, well, minigun. Yeah, you can spend a hundred grand on a minigun, probably easy. So mm -hmm. um, that's once again, that's because it's it's there's not that many of them out in private hands. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, there's there are some guns, but. It, but not something that was, uh, I don't know, I guess, put together yesterday. And you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, be I think, um, I'm trying to think of, well, have you ever handled the Cabot guns? Those are like, you know, those are expensive 1911s. And yeah. I think they've got cheaper versions now, like two, $3,000. But their, their entry level price used to be 7500 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's some really. Which I've seen people say, no way in hell. Yeah, and that's a yeah for 1911. Yeah. I, I, not my thing. Now I am gonna I am gonna get in on the CMP uh, government surplus 1911s when that happens. Um, right. I'm definitely gonna be in the in the in the drawings for that, without a doubt. So. And I think we were gonna talk about that, right? Because you wanted to go yeah. over exactly yeah. how that all goes down. So right. how does that um, how does that go down? Let's let's okay. switch well, gears into that right now because we'll talk about guns that we can all never afford. Okay until the cows come home, um, right. um, you know, let's make a pact. If anyone watching this right now wins the lottery and you win like a hundred million dollars, you know, I don't care if you win 20 million, you got to send some right. money to me and Walter. Yeah. You yeah. yeah just and we will, we will, we will totally buy guns with it. <laughs> and put that in a, in a box and just mail it. Don't, don't make it official. You hear me? Oh, yeah. right. well, what are you saying? <laughs> I don't want to pay no, and anyways, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll meet you someplace at the gas station and we'll swap up. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> oh, so um, CMP, this is how CMP works. And for you people that haven't bought anything from the CMP before, it's really easy. You have to, what they're going to do with these handguns is you're going to have to, they're going to be, they're going to be doing two background checks on you. Basically when you buy it from them and then it's going to have to ship through a dealer. When you, when you bought M1 Garands in the past or like M1 carbines, they would do the background check at the CMP, and it was shipped right to your house. Mm -hmm. So, um, because it already, it already been checked out. 
uh, because they're handguns, they're gonna they're gonna do it differently this time. It's got to go through an FFL, but you have to be a member of an organization. Okay, if you have a like a if you were in the service and you got a DD two fourteen, which is your discharge honorable discharge stuff, mm -hmm. that counts. A member of a like a, a shooting club or a type thing, which is easy to do. You can join one here in Florida for twenty bucks a year. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you about that. Um, what is it? Um, concealed carry qualifies. There's some some hoops you got. Oh jump. wait, so if you have a some concealed carry, you can just order this thing. That's one of the that's one of the things to line up for to get all oh. your ducks in a row. Um, it's on the CMP website if you read. Oh, the so you have to have multiple things or just yes. one of these things? Proof of oh. citizenship, like driver's license, passport. Okay. Uh, but how get many it. of these things do you have to have? Do you have to have like you have two? To have, yeah. Well, you got to have one each of the of the things. Oh, you have to have all of this. Um, then there's um, there's a form you got to fill out to get notarized saying that you're who you say you are. That's easy. Go to the bank and they notarize it for you. No big deal. Or mm -hmm. you go someplace. Yeah, hold um, on a second. Royal V gave us two box. Oh, that's so that he okay. could say, Hank, my Glock is bigger than yours. <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what Glock you have. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I got that Mandingo Glock. <laughs> you rocking that 10 millimeter Glock? I got that Mandingo, oh, Mandingo. 100 millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> you got the 16 inch guns, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Um, I'm just, I'm just kidding. So I basically, yeah, I have too much Indian blood to be uh, Mandingo. <laughs> um, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> there's some basic hoops you got to jump through, but they're not that mm -hmm. tough. The hardest one is um, if you don't have, if you don't have concealed weapons permit, um, and you don't have, there's one that. You can get it, it, it. You can get it if you just look through the things and you and you really want to do it. So people over sixty years old don't have to have a, a lot of the stuff anyway, so they get they get like, I guess they mm -hmm. get the old person qualification. But um, and then they're gonna what they're gonna do this time. Normally with the CMP, you pick out the the grade of the gun you want. You put a, mm -hmm. uh, certified funds in okay. the in the I mail. And you mail you off. I hate to cut you off, Walter. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, Real Cujo gave ten bucks to say HKs are better than Glocks. <laughs> For me to say that, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sean. I yeah, really you, appreciate yeah, yeah. that. You made me say HKs are better than Glocks. Damn. I would, you know, if if you if you held, I'm, say, I'm saying that because because you hold an HK HK up, money. Yeah, you hold, yeah. Myself, if you hold an HK up next to a Glock, yeah, the HK is a, a nice looking product. Not that Glocks aren't either for all you people that are. Good. Glock guys, but um, higher end looking HK finish wise, HK cooler looking markings on it. You know, little little proof marks and stuff. But you know, that's just I don't see the HK like that. I don't see the HK that way. Like the VP9, I didn't like it. Yeah, um, I'm not saying it's it's not ugly or anything like that. But um, I think it's I think Glocks are elegant. I know people think they're ugly, but I don't. And I carry my revolver. Says, is it just me? But Glocks are beautiful. Yeah, I think they're elegant. I'm not saying necessarily beautiful. They're kind of like a Sigourney Weaver. You can't say Sigourney Weaver is necessarily beautiful, but she's elegant. You know, you you tap that, especially like Alien. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, I mean, you know. Yes. I'm not saying I'm not trying to say she's horrible nowadays. We're all oh, old, no, me no. included. No, but I'm, you know, I'm, she's I'm, she was like, especially back in the '70s. That's elegance, right? Okay. You can use that word. So that's how I see the Glock. I don't see it. I don't think the Glock is ugly. I think it's really simple. And it's sometimes cool. beauty is just that simple. You know, like the, the girl next door. Simplicity. Simplicity. Yes. Yeah. Um. You know. So this time around with the CMP though they're gonna they're gonna hold kind of like what we did when we gave away the Krebs gun. Oh, okay, hold on, Walter. Before you get deep into this, this is good. This is getting worse. What happened? What happened? Okay, Royal V gave two bucks for me to say Glocks are sexy, sexy smiaches. Smiaches. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what a smiach is, but he gave two bucks, so Glocks are sexy smiaches. Smiaches. That's kind of like a biatch. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know either. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. okay. So. So. Up. Anyways, what right, normally right. what the CMP would do is you pick out the grade of gun you want, you send them the money, you mail it in, you get your gun. Mm -hmm. This time around, because there's been such a, and and they used to, and, and the CMP with the Garands and M1 carbines would let you buy up to eight of them a year. So this time around with these um, um, 45s are such a, I think going to be a high demand that you're going to get one a year, and they're going to. 
and they're going to only have 10,000 the first time around. So you mail in your application. They're going to put your names in a random um, computer program, and it's going to draw your number or your name. Then they'll contact you, and you'll pick the grade of gun you want. So if you get picked first or toward the top, you probably have a chance to get maybe the nicer guns. Um, as you get down toward the very end of the of the, of the abdominal track, you're gonna <laughs> get, you're gonna get the sloppy seconds. So uh, and, and and to be honest with you, I mean you know I I just want to I'll take a rack grade gun or I'll but the you know I'll take whatever. Um, but you're saying there's only gonna be ten thousand. So 10, if you're not a member and, of this group, you can't do this whole thing. Well, right? if you, you don't jump through the members. hoops. You don't jump yeah. through the hoops, yeah. Um, you won't, we won't qualify, and that's just to keep the riffraff out. And I understand that. Mm -hmm. Um, um, because um, it's supposed to be a civilian marksmanship program, not a a mail order gun shop. Um, but um, and the really high end, if they get these really collector grade guns, which they could, there could be some really early guns in this thing. They're going to go to their auction site because the CMP has an auction site for the high end stuff. Which they did with M1 Garands and like sniper guns and stuff like that. So, so um, on the auction site, you could just bid. You don't have to. You have can auction. bid on it, right? Right. If you're a high end, if you're a high end 45 guy, and you want that, you want that rare. So um, you think on that auction site, what are they going to be going for? Like a thousand? Oh no, two thousand. The guns, that? Are, the guns that'll end up on the auction site will go for more than that. Really? I think probably. I have a feeling that they're probably they probably the rat grade guns, which are the lowest ones. We'll probably start in a five range, four fifty five, mm -hmm. and they'll progressively go up. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean it all depends. You know, if you have your, if you got a couple dollars stashed away and your number comes up, you know. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get my my paperwork all figured out and get it sitting in an envelope yeah. waiting to go. Uh, when when you're getting your paperwork all put together, can you do my paperwork? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, <laughs> I can advise you. I'm on serious. This. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you're FFL and I'm an FFL, so yeah, you're just gonna throw in a copy of your FL, FFL in there, and it's gonna come right to you, and that's it. So oh, so I don't have to jump through all those hoops. Well, you, you do because you got to be a member of the organization, like yeah, a, okay, yeah. So you got to walk me through how to become a right, member right. of that. Remind and me, it's all, it's all on. The, I can give you the name of the Florida Sport Shooters Association, I think it is, okay. and they're they're a group that actually has meets and shoots and stuff like that. Okay, but, yeah, we but, need to get when, – when, and when is this thing going to happen when everyone gets eligible? They're saying once the firearms are transferred to them, once they actually take possessions, uh -huh. it could be upwards of 150 days, whatever uh -huh. that means, to sort. So we should just get our acts together and have everything all lined up, and then as soon as the alert goes out, jump right, on right, it. Right, right. I would okay. advise everybody that wants to do it to have all your ducks in line and in an envelope waiting to go with a stamp on it because there's no – Oh, you have to mail this? Hello. There, there's no, there's oh no emailing. There's no, it's all old school. Put it in an envelope, mail it. Can you express mail it? Will that help? Of I course. Don't know if you, Do they accept it? No, they're not. Or they're not signing for like FedEx. I, or I don't know about that. I, 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 oh. I didn't have to read the thing again, but. Right. Um, so yeah, they don't want it where, you know, everybody's gets a fair shot at it basically. Mm -hmm. so, um, okay. Um, well. Yeah, you know we do need to get lined up and ready for that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do one, and um, I know definitely. Um, <laughs> I know. I think Babyface wants to get in on that. Yeah, he should. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, yeah. just it, 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 well, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. And yes. remember, and no, and don't cry too bad if you don't get one the first time around. They've got, I think, over a hundred thousand of these things, so. Um, yeah, but you're saying the first ones that come out will be the best one. Well, no, the best ones are going to auction, and then right. there's going to be out of the group of ten thousand, the best will the collector collect. Oh, okay, but so but in the next group they could still be good. It oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's some argument here about Glock, so like hybrid oh, dear. one. We got them going again. Is elegant. Glock is just dot dot dot. Uh, Warsaw Patriot says the Glock is boxy, like the car Kia Soul. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, I'm not saying like CZ is CZ is sexy. I would put. I would definitely tell you that a CZ is a sexy gun. What is that? That's one. That's that uh, HK. Yeah, that's an HK. Yeah, see, HK that's gun. not. Yeah. I'll tell you how a Glock this is. is this is blo this is boxy. This is boxy. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's uh, not that sexy. This is this is business sexy. That's what yeah. I call. It. These you, you know what's sexy to me? A pistol, the Steyr. The Steyr is sexy, too. Oh, yeah, those are good-looking guns, those too. Those are sexy. But guess what? The Glock, to me, is like a Porsche. 
and a Porsche is not attractive. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, but it's like a Porsche. No, a Porsche oh, is not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Porsches there's are there's awesome. There's some Porsches. There's some Porsches that are yeah. that are very, very sexy. But you you're a 911 is not all that sexy to me. Sorry. <laughs> I, I mean, and I like Porsches. I'm not trying to say I don't. Well, like them. now, but if if, you know. if if you consider sexy the value of it. Yeah, but you know, I could have bought like a an air cooled Porsche, air cooled nine eleven. Those things are real yeah. high dollar. No, they're now. cool. They're cool cars, but I mean, it's not that far off from a Beetle. You can't say a Porsche <laughs> is sexy. So it's oh, the thing God. with a Glock. Like I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say a Glock is sexy, but it's it's okay. It's very... Okay, Porsche guys, forgive Hank. He didn't mean to say that. It's uh, like, it's like it's, a Beetle. He didn't. Really how mean... far is it off from being a Beetle? He he didn't mean that. He really didn't I mean meant that. It. I totally meant it. No. <laughs> Don't try to save me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I gotta go through the Stargate. Somebody says I'll, I'll pull you out a a, a a 356 Porsche out of this. But what I was gonna, okay. So what I was gonna say though is that I see a Glock as being like a Porsche. You know, it's just it's just simple design. That's the thing about the Porsche. It's simple, elegant design. Okay, they don't take beauty. They don't take form over function. Function is always number one with Porsche, and it's the same thing with Glock. That's a Germanic thing. Yeah, you know, so that's the thing that I think um, it's just a real, you know, like I think the Audi is, I, I've been looking at Audi TTs for a long time, right? Yeah. But I never, I didn't like them. You know why? Why's that? You know why I didn't get one? Because Audi TT used to look like a freaking beetle. It, it was too rounded. I like that look, actually. You like that? Oh, yeah. I don't like that. I actually like the way the beetle looks. If it was no, I like a beetle. My my dad owned a beetle when we lived in Nigeria. It's nostalgic and all that for me. But yeah, I mean, uh, even the even the ones that all the chicks drive, you know, the the, the first generation new one, um, yeah, it, which are typically a girl car, um, like a Miata. <laughs> um, uh, I some, would rather have a Miata than a beetle. Well, yeah, and now now you know because because they're cool now, but yeah. um. But the Mia, but the new Miata is a completely different beast from the original Miata. Oh yeah, yeah, the MX six. It looks the, elegant, like the design, like, and that's the thing I think with the Audi, with the new Audi, you know, Audi's doing really good. I mean, okay, Audi never had awesome design back in the days, but like the Quattros and everything, you know, those are just right. badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a Quattro, and you saw it, you know, right, doing right. rally racing and all, right, of, you know, and all right. of that. But now their their design is really sexy, man. It looks a lot better. Yeah. You know, and they are there are uh, there's um there's some very beautiful Porsches out there. Um, the new the new what's the hybrid one? It's not new, oh, but no. the um I'm trying to remember what it huh? The Panamera? No, not the Panamera. Oh, Panamera is a, a a sedan. I like the Panamera Lola, by the way, actually. Yeah, um, Lola likes it. I, I think it's okay. Uh, I'm trying to think what's that? There's a hold on a second. That's the stuffy that stuffy rich white guy car, the uh, Panamera. <laughs> um. Well, I don't have, it don't have to be a white guy. It just got to be a stuffy rich guy. Okay. Um, yeah, and Audi has a version of that, by the way. Yeah, I mean, the big sedan like that. I, I don't know. I've gotten. I've gotten yeah, um, like Audi that. has a big massive sedan like that. The uh, I'm trying to. What is it? Um, it's the Cayenne. Cayenne e hybrid. No, the Audi has. No, that's yeah, that's Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, that's yeah. Porsche. Okay. No, the Porsche that I, I think is it a 918. I think it's the. Hold on. What am I? I'm trying to find the one that I'm talking about so I could. Um, Somebody's asking me about gun stuff that I don't know about, which is completely what possible. Are they asking you about the HS Precision um, HTR. Oh, heavy tactical rifle. Okay. Oh, it's a Carrera GT. Even the 918 Spiders and all those, I think, are sexy from Porsche, but just a regular a Porsche is not like. Yeah. I. Yeah, I'm sure those um, HTR rifles are good rifles. Um, I just don't know that much about them. The HS Precision HTR. Yeah, HS. that's a like a. It's a a professional kind of bolt action rifle. Yeah. Um, um I carry my revolver. Says his first vehicle was a Huffy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people. A Huffy, yeah. I know people yeah. had Huffies. Um, Will Killer says a Mercedes C63 AMG estate wagon. There you go, wagon. That's cool. I like the um, A of the. Is it the C sixty three? I think the AMG Black the Coupe. That's freaking awesome. 
I am like, I've been seeing, I see him every once in a while. I rode in one in Las Vegas one time. It was one of the big um, Lexus sedans that's got mm -hmm. the ginormous back seat area. And I, I was really impressed by the size of the back seat. I can't remember the model number, but um, they're pretty cool. Um, oh, look at this. Mel Matrix says, I love my CLS 550, just hate the factory rims. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I don't know what that year the year that is, but nowadays the, the these companies are making better factory rims. So yeah, hey, I just see a thing on um I've got on order one of those Mac the Hill and Mac Gunworks STG forty fours. Right. Uh, so when is post, that coming in? Well, I don't know. It's supposed to be um soon. <laughs> they posted another video of it up on Facebook of shooting. So okay. So they're um. Forgetting. Music Lover wants to know what do people think of Beretta FS? FS, the Beretta FS. Uh, oh, if I, uh, Beretta, I'll have to look at uh, uh, Ryan Brown says 1939 Duesenberg. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the one that Hitler owned, right? <laughs> or something like that? No. Uh, Marcus Taylor says the AMG S65. Yeah, that's the one, I think, the coupe. Oh, so the Breda FS is a pistol, actually. The 92 FS? Yeah, I think, okay. um, doesn't Babyface have one? I have a 92. Um, um, I, I like the Breda. It's cool. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. another, uh, another classic design, the Breda is. Uh, yeah. Um, I like Berettas and stuff like that. They're just usually too big and or too expensive, and you know, overly they got too much stuff. Um, I like I like stuff simple, man. I don't like a whole bunch of safety crap. Yeah, I'm I'm not for my handgun being covered in safeties. I mean, it's not it's not um yeah not necessary yeah i carry my revolver wants to know if i have a custom glock um no i've got um i've got the only thing i have like that is the glocks that we've built from the ground up kind of thing um but i don't have like a custom glock like these really expensive glocks out there i don't think i'm gonna drop that kind of money or anything i prefer just a regular glock i have every yeah. nine millimeter glock for them i think i don't have an 18c obviously but i have a I have a Glock 43, a Glock, um, the, uh, I've got a 19, I got a 34, uh, Man. yeah, 29, 26, 26 excuse me, no, no, yeah, 26, 19, and I've got like, I've got two or three 17s, and I think, I think I got like three 17s and three Glock 19s, and they're all just regular, so... Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of all the like super customized Glocks and uh, you know And to be honest with you even the ones that we build up, you know where and and uh, Babyface and I are gonna be doing some videos uh, Coming out on this soon the ones that we build up the people who make you think that it's easy to get an 80% Glock and build it mm, I don't think they're I don't well, think they're being a hundred percent honest with you. I it's all dependent that. on your level of Proficiency um, skills. Uh, well, yeah, that, you could use those terms. Yeah, I mean, um, some people are more mechanically inclined than others, or or your 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 knowledge base when you start mm -hmm. is less than some other folks. So when you get done, you might know a lot more than when you start. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm not trying to discourage anyone. I think it's a great exercise. I think everyone should do it. Do it multiple times. Right. Every time we do it and we make a video, we learn stuff about these things. We learn yeah. how it looks simple. Everyone thinks a Glock is simple. It's not freaking simple. So I'm just well, telling you when you see people like, oh, I built this Glock in like five minutes and it works. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't really believe that. I'm just telling you. I I um yeah oh, I, I I haven't done that yet. Um, but I've done other things and and I thought I it would be easy and then it's like, but why isn't it working? You know, yeah. why isn't why And you're a manufacturer and you have well, understanding. Or, or the, of the first time you build an AR fifteen and it and you fire it for the first time and it and it and it don't extract or it doubles. You know, you get two in the, and you're going, Well, what the hell's going on? You know, it's like Yeah, but how often so which is easier to build? An AR fifteen or a Glock 
Um, well, eighty percent Glock. I haven't Which done the Glock eighty percent yet, so I can't tell yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. AR-15 every single day. Way easier to build. You have well, less problem. You know, you could watch someone's YouTube video and follow along well, and build yeah, an AR-15, yeah. and yeah. it's going to run fine if you, you know, if they knew what they were doing, and and you're, um, and you know, you're okay. Tyvin's texting me something like, "Get a real truck." <laughs> All right, Tyvin. Oh, Bless your heart. Yeah, plus your heart. Go ahead. You tell him. <laughs> he wants me to get an Oshkosh. He wants me to get one. Oh, of these, we have the, he sent me some. Oh, yeah. Ones. yeah I, would to, I would totally get that. You know how ginormous that truck is? <laughs> Matt, I would get it. You know. Hank, when I bought my those Mark 48s that I have, they were selling those at the same time. Uh -huh. And I could have got one of those at, at the same time for about the same amount of money. They're an awesome, big ass truck. I mean, if you just want something to impress. Yeah, of course you gotta have some place to park it and all that. I would stuff. totally make that. That would be my end of days truck. <laughs> <laughs> that you put a way well, I would do yeah, that if I got one and, and I didn't. It didn't really care. I'd build me a camper and stick it on the back, and it just yeah, be, man. It, it'd be ridiculous. Drive yeah. around the world. Um, okay, remember when we were at SEMA? We saw that truck that went. What yeah. was that thing called? It couldn't turn. They had this like million and a half dollar. Uh, uh, ex what was that built on though? Was that built on one of these or no? No, it was a smaller truck than that, but oh. it had such a shitty turning radius. It had to back about three times to get out of its parking spot. So yeah. that wasn't, that wasn't what I would call a, um, uh, escape vehicle, so to speak. I mean, it'd be a little, a uh, little hard to escape when you got to back around three or four times to get out of your parking spot. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, cool. Tango Hunter says, uh, EDC with a Glock 19 music lover says my purse carry is a shield nine. Okay, yeah. there you go. Uh, is Music Lover, uh, are you, like, I'm trying to figure out here from this comment whether Music Lover means purse in a facetious way? Like, it's a dude, but he's saying his purse carry is it, or is this a woman who purse carries the Shield 9? I'd like to know. I want to know about our female our female fans. Yeah. Um, LB you know? Louis Cipher so. mentioned that it's easy to put an AR together because there's so much info out there on it, and that's true. You can go in the, well, when I started doing it, there wasn't like videos on YouTube. So you kind of had to yeah. figure it out. But now you can look on, okay, why your gun's not extracting? Try this. Oh, that well, also, work. I mean, I Try think that. that I'm just going to tell you that I think that people are making videos about these 80% Glocks and they're cutting out a lot of stuff or they're not really shooting these things. Have you? you know, we're, we're actually building them and actually testing them and seeing how, like, okay, can we take this gun, build it, put it together, and boom, it's reliable, you know. Can you actually use it? Is it, right. is it as reliable as a Glock? And I'm telling you, you could buy a Glock, take it out of the box. And be done with it. And you don't even have to clean it up and lube it again, and you can just run a bunch of ammo through that. And if you build a gun and you can't do that, and you have to constantly go in there and file this down and fix this yeah. thing. You broke this thing when you were putting it. This <laughs> thing happened or whatever. Uh, yeah. That means that it's a fun exercise and everyone should do it because it gets you to appreciate how freaking awesome. That's why I compare a Glock to a Porsche. It's not as simple as you think it is. Well. Right? We like when I said a Porsche is just a beetle, we were like, <laughs> oh <"What?"> no. <laughs> and by the way, I would love to have a Porsche. <laughs> you know, I, I would love to have one. So yeah, no. Um, uh, what, so E. Kokel says, why do you think so many people diss guns that aren't combat worthy? Can't people own some guns for recreation, not just yes, for something? Yes, they can. They yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have, I have, I'm, I'm staring at, well, I got the high point. I got, I got the ghetto Luger, which is kind of a work in progress. Mm -hmm. I got all kinds of stuff that I wouldn't call combat ready, you know what I mean? Most of these people that think it's combat ready. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, music lover says female. Okay, awesome. I'd love to know that we've got some women watching. Uh, that's yeah. nice. Good that's to, cool. Good to know. No, I mean, you know, if you want to go, got like, I've got like two. I've got two women that watch this. Music lover Yay! and um, crap. I'm forget. Oh, Vanessa Kitty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so there's two ladies that can actually watch Hank Strange. Yeah, and hang out with us. Obviously, Lola, we forced Lola to watch this, though, so we can't count Lola. <laughs> um, she's she's under say, the restrictions Peggy of what? Killer watches sometimes. Yes, oh, that's true. Peggy, yeah, yeah, Peggy, oh, yeah. yeah, Peggy Killer Killer also. We got yeah. three. Yeah, she, uh, she, she <laughs> I don't know if she's watching the now. Ladies, the ladies are in the house, and none of these ladies have been sexually harassed in any way. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> oh, know? I don't know. I, I think it's a... It's a Except it's a, Peggy Killer Keller has been probably... 
it's an equal ex it's an equal exchange of, of of that around here so oh, oh okay well not by the rest of us so let's keep it that way respectfully you know so. it comes comes around goes around here in the keller house if you're gonna yeah <laughs> which is good <laughs> yeah you better be nice if i want to eat i have to be nice to lola or i have to make my own food or go buy food I, usually just being nice to lola is a lot easier i i said what's for dinner how about some breakfast Sounds good. Boom, yeah. I whipped it up. Yeah, TKO593 wants to know what Lola carries. Lola, um, Lola minigun. carries a <laughs> minigun. Yeah, she wishes she carried a minigun. <laughs> Lola carries a shield. She likes the shield, and she carries a, a, a Caltech P3 AT. When she's trying to be all sexy and wear tight jeans that don't have damn pockets. What, what, I, women need to start wearing pants that have pockets for crying the hell out loud. Women need to make pants with pockets. If, pockets. No, if if men that. make pants with pockets, you're still not going to use it. Yeah, but it'd be, it'd be printing all day long with them yeah, guns stuck in. Pocket, you know, I mean, you Music know. lover says, "I'm too old to harass." No, there is no such thing as too old to harass. <laughs> you can always have the spirit. You, can, <laughs> you just heard us talking about Sigourney Weaver for crying out loud. <laughs> you got to have the spirit should never leave your body. That's what I'm saying. You know. Uh, Highway uh, Run seventy seven says, "I'm a lesbian too." Seriously, <laughs> Highway Run, really. <laughs> Marcus Taylor says, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> behind Enum, <laughs> enemy lines, enemy, <laughs> behind enemy lines says, I'm a lesbian. Okay, the truth be, the truth be told, I'm a lesbian also. <laughs> Lesbianic yeah. tendencies. Hashtag yeah. lesbians in the house. <laughs> <laughs> what is this about? Who's screaming self salute? An American gun chick once in a while. What now? What happened? Oh, she watches every once in a while. American gun chick. And she has some. Oh, yeah, that's true. American gun chick. When she's got a signal. You know, yeah. 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 yeah, they're on the road um, all the time, so who knows? Yeah. Um, but, yes, they are. They are. She is on the road all the time, uh, but she does watch us every now and then, I hear. You know, yeah. like uh, she's working on stuff, and she's over there, and she hears my big mouth or something, <laughs> or I say something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yuri Modin says, I'm a lesbian trapped in a man's body. <laughs> totally. <laughs> you know, speaking of speaking of that, that idea, that concept, mm -hmm. um, somebody in our – family's husband decided he wanted to be a she mm -hmm. so once he became a she he still liked girls mm -hmm. um, so it's like mm. yeah there's lots of definitions nowadays of who you are yeah i mean he had the whole and, yeah. it had the whole thing done you know oh and oh wait he had his he had his junk snipped had the gimmick cut off yes um, never never giving up my junk man but then never for my cold dead hands Still, my guns and my junk. <laughs> still, still like the chicks though. So it's like, like why would you cut your junk off and then you let your? Okay, well, you whatever. Look like could, a lady. You, could be, you could be. Listen, I'll tell you honestly. All kidding aside, I believe in freedom. People can be who they want to be. Yeah, I one hundred percent support that. This is America, and the one thing about America is you can be who you want to be <laughs> as long as you believe in freedom and guns. You're okay with me. Well, that still goes for. Him too, or it, it too. So, I, I, I so like I said, she's I don't, she's I don't have she's any, she's a gun she's a gun person. That, and that's 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 fine. I you know, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't have to. I, once again, I don't have so, to be like. So how she wants to re be referred to as she? No, it's or, a it's it's a she. Yeah. It's a okay. She. Okay. So yeah. So there you go. So she just was like trapped. She just she was like for real a lesbian. She was a lesbian trapped in a man's body. <laughs> So she okay. went. She went full lesbian, lesbianics, and had the junk cut off. I, what about I, what about boob implants? I don't know. I I haven't. All I know <laughs> you is didn't check it out. You didn't check out the. You didn't look it, under the hood, Walter. The offer was made. Actually, oh. <laughs> you want to see? And I'm like, no. 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 Yeah. I have a very vivid imagination. No, I don't need to. So you would rather let your imagine? I, I, I don't even like the fact that you told me about this. I, the way my brain works is oh, I'm yeah. going to be thinking about this yeah. for days. I mean, I know how they do the whole process with the cutting uh, and folding and all that mm, stuff. I, no. I'm a mechanical kind of guy. I understand how it works, but I don't need to see it. No. So I can't even think about it. I'll tell you something. Um, Lola is always wanting to snip my dog's junk, and I'm like, uh-uh. Oh, oh, the dog. Well, that's that's a reproduction thing, yeah. So. No, I don't care. I'm not allowing it. I refuse to allow any man. Well, he's not he's not roaming the neighborhood though, is he? No, he's no. I got a fence and everything. Keep him in there. He's yeah, you know, yeah. He's, he's, he's cool. Yeah. But I refuse to take his junk off, man. Oh, well, that's just not right. 
<laughs> I don't want to be responsible for that, you know. I believe in karma. So, <laughs> you know, if I was born a human being and not a dog, if I was born a dog, I would not want somebody taking off my junk. Yeah. No, he's not running around making little, uh, little, uh, little crazy dogs. So, you yeah, know, he's all right. Yeah. Uh, Louis, Louis, LV Louis Cypher is asking some what kind of question. Uh, did the carpet match the drapes? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, we got off on this subject, but um, yeah, absolutely. And then uh, someone, Warsaw Patriot says, "I hope American Gun Chick is a woman. No offense, uh, she has a big, beautiful nose. Uh, I think she has a cute nose. She's all girl. There's no. Yeah, she's totally. She is way. She is. She is super chick. She's super There's, checked out. Uh, she's you know, a, you see, you see she's a woman trapped in a woman's body. <laughs> yeah. Bless her heart. You see that? You see her yeah. video where she was with um, oh, the old guy. And shoot the forty-four magnums. Uh, which uh, are you talking about? Um, um, nine, uh, nineteen eleven. Um, no, Big uh, Daddy Hoffman. Yeah, yeah. He was shooting. Yeah. He, she was shooting his uh, her des his Desert Eagles. Oh no, and, I didn't see that. And she got a jam. She cleared it good. I mean, she's yeah. Oh, got, yeah. Uh, listen, people think that American Gun Chick is just like a gun bunny. She's cute, and you can't take that away. I mean, you know what, right. dude. I wish I was like a cute dude. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had muscles and like an eight pack or something, you know, and I was all sexy with long <laughs> flowing locks and all. I would be totally playing up. Oh, you see me that. out there washing my car all the time and getting do, doing all that sexiness stuff so I can get uh, more subscribers. <laughs> so you can't hate someone for being cute, but I think she legitimately, seriously is into guns. And um, when yeah, she well, hangs out with us, she comes across to me. I think you too, Walter, is a serious gun person. She's evolving. She's learning. She's yeah. evolving. Yeah, that's and, and and but a lot of guys are the same way. To be honest with you, a lot of guys fumble around with the guns. And at first, they don't know they're sweeping across. The, <laughs> they're doing all kinds of goofy stuff until they learn. You know, so I'll give her credit. You know. Yeah. Well, she's learning. She's learning. Right, she's right, getting right. training. She's always open to um, to talk yeah. about stuff and all that. Right. So. Yeah, you know, I like her. I think that she's cool. And and also, I could tell you guys something right now. There's lots of women out there in the gun, in our gun world that people think that they're just gun bunnies, and they're badass shooters. <laughs> they know. Look at Rachel B. Man, she's freaking. Yeah. She's badass. Yeah, she could shoot. You know, she's beautiful. She could shoot and all that kind. Of, she's incredibly. I would say she's even. I would put her in the nerd category. You know, um, and so the, and there's lots of people out there like that. Lots of women that I meet that they're attractive, and yeah, they're in guns, but they're they're a badass. So don't you know? Yeah. No. Uh, that's yeah. And so what if you're a gun bunny? It's okay. Yeah. You, you know what? You know. Right. That's, right. There's nothing wrong with that. We got to have all types. You know, I I there's some out there I've seen on the internet. I'm like, oh, holy cow! Look at that! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow, look yeah. at it again. <laughs> yeah, and I think, and I'll tell you right now, I think American Gun Chick is working pretty hard, you know, oh, yeah, to learn yeah. about guns and all that. And she's very honest. If you look at her, you know, when we did a video with her called Is American Gun Chick for Real? In that video, she answered some tough questions that I asked her. She wasn't offended or anything like that. She straight up just dealt with the questions, you know, like what we're talking about here. And yeah. you have to respect that. And I think that that's someone who is working really hard to do this and also she's not doing it for for your freaking benefit i think she's doing it because she's genuinely into it so that's that's you know yeah. i don't know if that's like an endorsement but that's what I, yeah. you know, that's what i think about that particular situation so no no i'm, I'm with you she's you cool know, everyone belongs in here and there's nothing wrong with being hot because i really wish i was hot you know well <laughs> You got okay. Look, look, listen. When I go, like I was in Atlanta, and I went to this range and everything, and the only people who wanted to talk to me was dudes. <laughs> you know, which I'm not. I'm not mad about it. I'm happy to talk to my people. You know, I'm happy to talk to gun guys and everything, and for them to appreciate all the hard work that we've been doing. Right? But she just wanted to fraternize. Yeah, but a there's no bit women over there. Like, damn, you know, the Hank Strange is real sexy. Yes, man, we gotta go. We gotta go get up next to him. Yeah, no, I don't have that. And if I could, I would totally take that. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Lola's saying I'm. Yeah. Oh, do you hear what Lola's saying? She says I'm not demo ranch and I'm not guns and gear. So I guess those are the sexy dudes. You for, you left one out. What's that? That that sexy guy that you follow 
that's a gun guy and he was watching he was washing his car and he and it was a huge video oh, GY6 vids. yeah gy6 vids i'm no gy6 vids i guess <laughs> yeah. lola knows all the sexy dudes do you notice that hey uh, hey hey yeah you all know all the sexy chicks. You know about Rachel B. Three, 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 three. three no, that's three. by accident. That's by. That's not because I want to know. Yeah, she walked by the table at Shots. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's like she an walked, accidental. You're forced to know. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, you know, I have to know that for business sure, purposes. Yeah, sure, Walter. <laughs> no, she walked by the table at Knob Creek. She was on a mission. She was going some part. So yeah, I didn't. I, you know, I didn't like. Hey, I, you know, it's like no. Yeah, no, she's cool. I mean, yeah, she's, uh, all right. yeah. Yeah, she's a cool chick. Sometimes she doesn't even notice me. I see her places, well, and she has no clue. And then I'll see her somewhere else, and she's like, oh, what's up, Hank? She's always nice. I'm working right now. Actually, today I was editing the video of um, of when I went to Brownells. Remember that months ago? Yep. That I went to Brownells? I actually have a video, and it's really long right now. I've been trying to cut. It's hours and hours. And I've cut it down to about an hour and a half, so i got to keep cutting it down. But there's a bunch of... Lola wants me to cut it down to 30 minutes. I don't know. There's a bunch of cool stuff in here. There's like a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of gun gun guys and girls in there. And there's all kinds of shooting that we're doing and all kinds of awesomeness. And I don't want to like break it up or anything like that. So whoever doesn't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it when I put it out. And it's not going to be an hour and a half. I'm going to cut it down more than that. But it's really going to be worth it. And you'll see some stuff in there of what I'm saying that, you know, there's some beautiful women out there that are into guns, but they're real gun people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm using um, I'm using Adobe Premiere. Okay. Yeah. Why? Who's asking you about that? Richard Hughes. Oh, okay. So I guess Richard Hughes wants to know what I use to edit, and I use Adobe Premiere because um, Final Cut is bullshit. Adobe actually develops Final Cut, so that should tell you something. And because Apple doesn't develop it, they gave that over to Adobe, and that's why it doesn't have big updates. I think eventually Apple is really just going to do um, iMovie, which is a good thing. If you're like entry level, you can use iMovie on your phone and on your iPad or whatever, on your computer, so it's all good. Uh, Mac. I use a Mac, Richard Hughes. He's asking if I use Mac or PC. Yeah. So no there you go. It's our lab in your house. Tell him that. Um, well, well, I can't say there's no PCs allowed in my house because I have Macs, but the kids have PCs. Yeah, so I have both. Yeah, um, Actually, I can use both. There's a Mac right here and a PC mm -hmm. sitting right next to it. So, yeah, and you know that's like PCs are getting better and better. I mean, I could use a PC. I could build. You know, back in the days, I used to build my own PCs. Actually, this one's a so. tough book, which is a Panasonic tough book, which is a, uh, you know, for you guys that like. Yeah, military grade pretty, stuff they're fine. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Yeah. But my brother is a consultant and a computer consultant and he uh you know he taught me a long time ago how to build PCs and do all that kind of stuff. But I just find Macs easier and I'm doing so many things that I don't have time to fight with. Uh right, right, right. So right. that's the problem, I think. Uh what was this about Glock and yeah. yeah, Brian Quick says Apple is the Porsche of Glocks. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold on. What is this? Apple is the Porsche. <laughs> and the PC the is what a Glock of the computer or something? world. Yeah, he says Apple is the portion Glock of the computer world. Oh, yeah, okay. he's combined the two together, so he's got some love going your way. It's kind of true though, because it's simple. It's simple and elegant. So if you look at a PC, like a PC laptop now, there's like a gaming laptop. It looks all badass and you know it's ready for games and it's got a big massive screen and it's cheaper lights than getting lights on it and everything. Yeah, and it's yeah. got all kind of crazy lights and everything to attract who buys that. The kids or the some nerdy dude that wants to play video games, which I'm not <laughs> knocking you for being nerdy or wanting to play video games. I'm a nerd, but um, you know, I, I just like I like the simple elegance. And also, you can buy a Mac, and it obviously when you go sell it a couple years later, it's worth less. Yeah, you can. But, but a PC devalues really fast. I mean, the 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 Mac I'm on right now is I've had for a while and. But we, we, we took the hard drive out and put a, uh, what, a digital hard drive in it. Mm -hmm. So we took the conventional one out and put digital, and it runs just like new. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. What really sold me on the Mac is I saw it one day on a show how they made the chassis in China mm -hmm. where they machined out the chassis out of aluminum. And I was like, I want one. So Yeah, when, well, LB Louis Cypher says, Apple fucking sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the IT business since 1989. They suck ass. 
Okay, so here's the thing. For me, I use Apple stuff because it's just easier. So I've tried to use Android devices for my phone and stuff like that. And, and, and obviously, my phone has to be able to do videos. And I have videos on my channel that came from Android devices that are big, but I hate those videos. The video sucks, the audio sucks, all that kind of stuff. So Apple devices just work with video better. It works with the things that I need to do better so I don't have to fight with it. Yeah, but if, okay. but if you, huh? I said the artistic. Yeah, for the artistic things that I want to do. I think a lot of that's changing. I do think the PC stuff is getting a lot better and I may transition over because Apple's getting just really ridiculously expensive. And then also they're starting to care less and less about the creative person like me and just care more about the some like old dude who doesn't know anything about computers. Yeah, and notice, kind of, notice I locked it on, on Walter. It's what? Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's becoming t so I think that it's kind of going the other way that PCs are getting better for dealing for doing creative things. But I find like with a PC, you got to fight with every damn thing. You know, if you're trying to be creative, right? Oh, yeah. See, I don't I don't do it that for that stuff. So I mean, I've used the movie maker and thing on PC just goofing around with stuff. And, yeah. Um, so we you're, you're not that. using you're not using the onboard Mac software for doing your your editing. You're using something in addition to the. Well, yeah, I use Adobe, because which I, comes in the cloud, but I can use Apple stuff. I've you know I I've been found using the Macs Apple, for like twenty years, twenty found, something years. I found the Apple stuff on the thing sometimes was I was trying to do the simplest thing and I just couldn't get it on the Mac where I get on the PC and put it on done. So I don't. Yeah, I've been listen. I've been using computers for a long time, right? Since I came to America, nineteen eighty three. Been using computers, you know. Um, I'm deep into it. I'm a nerd. I used to use com like cassette tapes to back up my work, save my data on cassette tapes. I go way back, you know. I could program in BASIC and DOS and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I understand all of that. My first Mac was a Quadra, I think a <laughs> Quadra six sixty AB. If you want to look that craziness up, and that's from that's from somewhere in the nineties. So, um, you know, just for me, I just go for what's easier. And I find a lot of times like on a, on a PC, you have to fight with everything, just like with Android. If you use Android, you have to, it doesn't work perfectly with everything. But I'm not saying that Apple's perfect either. They have lots of problems. So it's not guaranteed. I think the perfect computer system is not out there yet. And maybe eventually it will happen. You know, <laughs> maybe someone will merge it like reciprocity in the Knicks bill. <laughs> Let's not start that fight. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's like Max. Is that like an East Coast, West Coast thing? You know, like, well, anyways. Um, yeah, Max well, you know, PCs. I mean, Max are just getting ridiculously expensive now. That's really true. Oh. You know, Apple is just really getting insane. What, you All want right, this? somebody, Wardex says Gorn. Go, okay, okay, Walter, that's your job. You get the. Oh, that's, that's my job tonight. The, um, yeah, Lola took out something, but it's the same thing that I showed you guys before, which is the XAR, which I showed yesterday. Uh -huh. I don't know if anyone saw it, but it, it comes in two different ways. It comes in a Pelican case, and then it comes in this Hazard 4. This is oh, yeah. the uh, EVAC sling. So, so, which, by the way, Hazard, Hazard 4 is pretty awesome. I like I these like Hazard these. 4 bags. Okay. I'm gonna so, have to, I'm gonna have to go ahead. mobile here. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do I? What can I? What can I drag out? Let's see here. Anybody might have a little bit of interest. Um. Hmm. Let's take a look. Let's see what's behind you. Let me look at this. Well, what's behind me? What's What's behind? Let's see a rocket. Give me the rocket launcher. What What movie is that from? What's what? behind me does not the matter. I don't know. Is that from Spaceballs? No, that's um. Now I can't remember the name of the movie either. Um, one of the one of the car movies, like the, the where they're racing across the country. Can I run? It might have been. Yeah, what the, the Italian guy in the Ferrari? What's up behind me? Does not the matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I think I see some rocket launchers behind you. Well, there's that stuff. That's yeah. that's the standard equipment stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, for those who haven't seen this stuff before, the RPG type stuff. Um. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Ah, yes. That's so awesome. Oh, awesome sauce. Yeah. Uh, this is actually an RPG RPG two launcher with a seven practice rocket in it. So it's, yeah. Can you put it over the shoulder like how the you know, like um, how they use it or something? Huh? There like you it. go. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that's how you do it right there. 
Okay. So now that we've it's had, not loaded, people. It's not loaded. Nope, it's inert. It is not a. It is not a live round. Don't get all excited. Um, I know. I know better than that. Is that military art you have up on the wall back there? Actually, it is. Um, this guy that does this stuff. He. Uh, let's see here if I can. I don't know if you can take the camera over there. Can it reach? I won't get probably. I'm pulling it out. He, uh, I'm pulling it out. That was a good. That was a good. Yeah, they'll pull out on us. No, no. You're uh, better off taking those off the wall if they can come off the wall. But if not, yeah. He, this guy is a guy that's done a lot of stuff for. If you, if you, if you see the, um, let me see, like on a website, like on uh, International Military Antiques website, some of the drawings of of soldiers and stuff. He's had stuff in Shotgun News um, for different advertisers. Um, those I bought at Knob Creek one year. He so was those there. are cells. Those are cells of his artwork. Yeah, actually, yeah, or prints. They're signed prints and stuff. So. Oh, cool. So one's a uh, Russians. One guy in the middle is German, and then the one on the end are two Americans. And do you know the guy's name? You know uh, what his name is? Off the top of my head, I don't. But it's uh, yeah. Okay, someone wants to see the twenty millimeter lottie. Oh, you can make me do like a workout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come on now. Okay. Let's see. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, there. 20 millimeter. The 20 oh. millimeter. Shit, piss and corruption. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is fun. I love it. This Look is at that thing. Oh. <laughs> That's so freaking awesome. You should get that implanted in your arm. <laughs> <laughs> you got big enough arms for it. <laughs> I have to get a go kart to 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 uh, or four wheels on my arms. So yeah. <clears throat> so wow. the crank is to, is to cock it. Yes. Yeah. For those who Tango don't... Hunter says Walter likes to play just the tip with his RPG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ward Deck says I love the twenty millimeter. <sighs> okay, I had my workout. Yeah. All right, let's put this back. Uh... So, if I don't drop this thing, so like, ML Matrix says is a Serbu single shot 50 BMG worth it? Um, I don't know. I've never shot one. Walter, have you ever shot one of those things? Um, not if he's talking about the RN50. Um, I don't have any knowledge about the RN50. Yeah. So I mean, um, we could we could knock it or whatever, but that really just would be a waste of time. I mean, you know, I, for those who don't know, back in the day, I, I worked for Serbu, um, or I worked with Serbu. I like to say. Um, and I built a whole bunch of those when I worked for them, the, 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 um, the BFG 50, it works fine. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, I actually have one in the safe that I, uh, as I, his, he would turn into an employee gun, but, um, mm -hmm. um, but anyways, yeah. So that's my, uh, my Serbu experience. So, yeah, I carry my revolver in single action says, damn Walter, you have some cool shit. <laughs> well, you know, some days. Yeah. So let's get the, uh, let's finish off the 20 millimeter thing. Mm -hmm. I need to finish it off. I'll get to it here shortly again, but 20 millimeter barrel. 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 Yeah, the barrel. Somebody wants you to SBR that barrel. <laughs> <laughs> SBR well, that bad boy. I, I would. I'd be, I'd be happy if it had a, happier if it had a shorter yeah. barrel. But Hashtag big barrels. Big barrels for everyone. Yeah, I got your big barrels. That's very cool. And we still have, like right now, at this point, even though we're winding down the show, there's still 110 people watching us live. That's freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much for, like, hanging out with us. We're just over here winging it, saying whatever the hell we want to. Yeah, we're just um, opt out of gun control says, shit now, that is a burl. That's a burl, son. Yeah, Louis Cy LV Louis Cypher says, burl. Burl oh. Gorn says, Screaming oh, yeah. Skull Saloon. Barrel horn. Yeah, that's not very exciting. Yeah, uh, Vanessa Kitty said I programmed the Commodore 64 for Pfizer Corp back in the end of the 80s. I had a um, I didn't have a 64, but I had a 128 for a while. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that was actually a pretty capable um, little computer for what you know. Yeah. For what it was. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That had a, a like a cult following too, the Commodores. Yeah, I remember those. Jackson Ullman says that's how we roll. And Mel Matrix says best shows when we just wing it, um, wing it. and best live gun show on YouTube. So thank you for that. That's very cool. Um, Tyvin Show says all 110 people still watching. You all rock. I don't know how can I say it and like I can't do I can't do Tyvin's act. 
You all rock. No, that's not good either. You I can't do Tyvin's accent. It's too. Yeah, it's Only Tyvin can do that craziness. He's got a unique. Uh, he's got a unique draw. Let's say that. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't do Tyvin's thing. I do get a kick out of watching Tyvin in his uh, when he's gaming. I do, yeah. I do enjoy that. I mean, it's I, I don't do that stuff. I've been yeah. you're, you're addicted to this now. You should actually get on there and game with them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like fun because all I do is ride around, and crash into things, and, and yeah. get killed and stuff. But yeah. uh, um, the Jackie Bear says, "No, you rock." And Recall Junkie 1981 says, "We rock. We rock this house." <laughs> <laughs> It's all because of you guys. That's right. Yeah. That's all. Absolutely. Uh, Yuri Modin says you rock with a w uh, R A W K. So it's like rock like a mohawk. Rock, rock like a mohawk. Yeah. Bloody so I should have said Ara. Ara A A. Ara A A W K A. I had a friend of mine that was from like West Virginia and he would always say Ara. Ara? He wouldn't say R. Yeah, Ara. he said Ara. He also said garbage. Like you would say go go take out the garbage. The garbage? Yeah. And where was he from? Uh West Virginia. <laughs> they say garbage in West Virginia? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's weird. Oh. Yeah. For those who don't know what this is, this is a CZ27. Um and this one was uh built during the occupation when the when the Nazis were running uh, Czechoslovakia or the Czech Republic or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um this is a late war gun, actually. This is one of those ones I found I, when I went to the Tulsa Gun Show one year. This pawn shop had a whole table of guns, just like they'd taken in on pawn, and they were just cheap handguns they were trying to get rid of. Right. And I'm looking across the table, and I'm like, oh, they were all fifty dollars. Everything was fifty dollars on the table. I'm like, oh. Hmm, Speaking of which, this the thing called a CZ Shadow Two. Oh yes, there is CZ Shadow Two. Yeah, CZ Shadow. The reason why I'm asking is because Big Daddy Guns was telling me they've got a couple of CZ Shadow 2s. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if anyone's looking for those. I know those are not easy to find. Oh. It's supposed okay. to be like a unicorn kind of thing, getting oh. your hands on it. And I don't know if it's spoken for. They're not made. I know they have that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a low blow, Walter. <laughs> it's a low blow. Mike Tango 6 says, Hank, I enjoyed meeting you at the NRAAM this year. Okay, that's very cool. Um, hopefully I'll see you next year. I don't know. The NRA might not allow us to go. <laughs> I got to call those guys because I haven't heard anything back from them about tables. So I don't know what's, if I'm going to – if I don't have tables, I'll just go with you and go out to the NRA and goof off. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, Justin E. says, we ready to go uh, wabbit hunting now. Wabbit? Uh, and, yeah. Uh, wabbit hunting? Yeah. And uh, David Bay says, hey, uh, hey, guys, from Kentucky. So there you go. Um. Uh, Yuri Modin says, I want to see Z75, but I'm invested in 1911. So do I. Yeah. Um, Highway Run 77 says, C CZ Shadow 2 drooling. So if anyone's actually interested in those, you should get in touch with um, with Big Daddy Guns. I think they got two that came in, but I don't know if those are spoken for or not. But hey, call them up. They're good guys. And even if um, they're even if they're spoken for or someone orders them, because if they if they're if they're not spoken for, they're not going to be there that long. But um, you know, Big Daddy Guns can get their hands on that kind of stuff. So yeah, they must they must be get they must get stuff allocated as they call it in the business. Yeah, 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 yeah. They buy a lot of guns, man. Big Daddy Guns is really big. They have a really nice store here in Gainesville. The other day, I did it. I was doing a radio commercial for it, which I hear that that radio commercial is actually playing on the radio. But I'll probably never hear my own damn radio commercial because I don't listen to the radio. Well, whose fault is that? Yeah. Huh? Whose fault what? is that? Uh, I don't listen to the radio, so oh, okay. you know, whatever's on that one. But. Um, <laughs> Um, what's that gonna think about? You know, and we still we've got like 114, 115 people still watching us right now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, yeah, um, yeah, this, yeah. So, Lo Lola says we got to wrap up. Okay, Walter, go ahead. No, I'm just gonna say this is a Nazi produced one when they were running things. It's a late war gun, so there's not a there's a really like a really basic finish on it. You can see machine marks, definitely not up to the German uh cracking the whip on the factory thing because they're probably getting bombed at the same time, but. And, and I found it for 50 bucks. It was on the table for $50. And I didn't realize that's it was really German until good. I got back home and I started looking at it real close. And I was like, oh, look at that. I can see eagle proof marks. I did good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I think that's a good job. You always find cool guns, Walter. You know, mm -hmm. so 
This is what you got to be out there hunting. Always you, on the lookout for the pistols, you know. Yeah, you know, you're not finding me as many bull pups as I thought you would find. But whatever happened to the dude that had the arm pistol? Well, maybe we should talk about that out uh, here. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All and right. I, mean, <laughs> I, I I couldn't after I told you about that Turkish bull pup twenty gauge uh -huh. shotgun. Uh huh. I guess I sent you the link. I couldn't find it for my life on my computer. Oh, the twenty gauge one. So what? I'm supposed to send? Uh, do you need me to resend that to you? Yeah, I got. I got to find out who's actually selling that. I don't know who's selling. It, oh, it, you couldn't find anyone actually selling it. Okay. I couldn't find a link after I sent it to you, so I don't okay. know. What, but anyways, that's yeah, enough. we'll do that. All right. So, what do you want to remind the people out of out there before we wrap this up and get out of here, Walter? Oh, we're uh, you know still taking orders for the CZ stocks. We're turning metal. If you guys are looking for a CZ uh, Scorpion Evo stock um, for the tail hook, I'm going to be news today. I'm going to be soon selling tail hook braces. So you guys, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't nice. right now. So don't, don't, don't hit me up for it right now. Yes, away. they're not in stock at they're this not moment. In stock at the moment, but I did talk to. Um, the gods of tail hook today, and um, I will be a tail hook dealer here uh, or selling them with, with stuff. So um, it's coming, just not quite yet. So, yeah, shout out to Gearhead Works, those are the guys that make yep. the tail hook. Yep, yep. Um, um I talked to the man over there today, and he likes my stuff, and I like his stuff. And <laughs> really, you <laughs> like his stuff, and he likes your stuff, huh? Yeah, it sounded weird, didn't it? But <laughs> yeah, wait, it sometimes, but yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing those pretty soon here, Facebook, Instagram. I didn't get to post anything today on Instagram. I feel bad, you know. I don't know what. Uh, um, yeah. I got to work. That's cool. On. You can always post something tonight. Yeah, I, guess. I see you get off here. You can post something. I'll take a picture. That's cool. Actually. Yeah, and for anyone who's not who's on who has Instagram, you know, Walter's Instagram is Safety Harbor Firearms. So just search Safety Harbor Firearms. I'm on Instagram. It's Hank Strange. You know, you can you can always follow us. I also do the the Instagram for Big Daddy Guns as well. By the way. In yes. case you don't know that, so I post on both of those things. You post in all so, over the place. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes I post unique stuff on Big Daddy Guns, and it's not on Hank Strange. I don't post the same. Sometimes I share some stuff that I post over right. there or whatever. But if you ever notice the dude who does the stuff for Big Daddy Guns, you know, is a black guy. That's me. That that black guy. Oh, those hands I see in the the, the yeah, hand. Yeah, that's ball? yeah, that's me. Okay. You have such nice <laughs> well, hands. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go okay so that's it right nothing else you want to talk to the folks about uh, are you coming back tomorrow yep uh, why am i coming back tomorrow i don't know no i'm also says no lola says tomorrow is kevin dixie and 13c gun reviews oh well tell, tell so, them yeah tell them, i'll be i'll be lurking i'll tell you what i'll, I'll be out there be I'll be yeah back. yeah if you want to come hang with us you can but we'll see we'll see what's going yeah, on lola says she was just trying to give you a day off you know she's you've got a lot of stuff going on I'll see how my significant other's feeling tomorrow, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. I hope she feels better. Um, on my part, I want to thank everyone that's been hanging out with us, watching the show. It's been really good. Uh, even though it's just me and Walter chatting, sometimes that's, hey, that's the best thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thanks to everyone in the chat. Thanks for everyone who's watching and thumbs up and shared and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I want to remind you guys that we're sponsored by Safety Harbor Firearms, RAN CLP, Andrews Custom Leather, who we need to get Sam Andrews to come on the show. And Big, Big Daddy Daddy. Guns, <laughs> right there, those guys, Big Daddy Guns. And, of course, uh, we're, we're also sponsored by our Patreons. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. We appreciate everyone for coming on there. We've got lots of people uh, coming on board and helping us out, and we really appreciate it. It helps keep everything going here in terms of, like, buying stuff, ammo, and going to the shows and doing all that cool stuff to keep this crazy train rolling down the tracks. Rolling down the rails on the crazy train. There you go. That's like that's Grammy Award material stuff right there. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I, I, I. <laughs> all right. So, thanks, Walter. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. We're out of here. Peace. See you later. We're out to here.